So what, what are we looking at here? One game, early stage. Okay. Is it a PKO or no? No, it's no, not. it's free load. You guys like to bet here? I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna mix one yeah, big blind, just... one big blind or check. This combo can defend quite well against a check raise. Mm -hmm. So I prefer to bet this over like Ace Five of Hearts probably. Mm -hmm. and what do Although you that do one probably bet jams? calls too. That one bet calls too. Yeah, I think this just has a little bit more comfort um, on like turns. Uh, having the battle flush draws. And, and if you jam? Yeah. I don't really expect. I don't, I don't really expect to. I don't really expect, I don't, I don't, I don't really expect to see a jam. I don't think it's a play. It's going to be like a check min raise, check three x. I mean, you're um, definitely not going to see it from Pro Beers. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't expect it from him, but like, I can definitely see some people just like jam. Over I mean, him. just check more than against those kind of players because if you're if the it, the type of player to be jamming here is the type of player just to be like, ha, I'll just jam a seven, you know. No, that is true, probably. So, like, I would just bet fold more against the better player that would be jammed. Yeah. Yeah, I think just to give yourself more check raises, we just check raise all the 7x, all the 3x. I think it's like probably, probably don't have that many check calls on the flop. You just check raise felt like almost all your 3x, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. I think you could double check this. I think betting small to medium are both fine. Probably like one third will do the trick here. This attack depth. I think in general, you like these delayed C bets on the pair boards. We tend to go capped at two thirds. I think this stack depth would probably just go one third. Maybe the, the interaction of the five changes things a little bit. Maybe you want to go like two thirds here. But I think it's like definitely extremely possible that Pro Beers is going to be double checking extremely strong hands here. Oh, yeah. A very like done. decent clip. This is probably what I would have done. Just a half bot. Yeah. I think this is fine. I think we'd probably go smaller here though. And the man gets paid. Good for him. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm not sure. Go go back to the, the turn bet. I think this is probably a spot where he's supposed to actually do a load of min raising as well now. Yeah. Like, yeah. The seven X. Like I think like King six, obviously, it's like attractive to shove, but I think you probably start doing some check, bit min raising here. So what's the uh, what's the logic behind it? Explain it to 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 dumb chat, you know, because obviously they don't. I, th it. I think it just I gives you a bit more ability to to bluff with low equity combos. Like if you have like a naked six, I know jack six of hearts. Um, actually, let's say you have jack six with a jack of diamonds. I think you, you can't shove that combo. You want to have some bluffs. You want to have some seven X, which goes non all in. So I think using something like Jack Four, like if you have Jack uh, Jack Six for the Jack of Diamonds, you could do some check min raising here. I think it's quite possible. Uh, it's gonna like maybe like less frequent at this stack depth, but it's gonna be a possibility. Well, it is no limit, so everything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> you opening <coughs> here? Sure. Uh, maybe I think it's like fifty fifty. I just, depending, I just open like, depending on the big blind. If they're a loose goose, I'd play it. If they're not, I wouldn't. So, so this is like mostly not open at 50? It would like the other way around, yeah. Maybe it's more like mix at 60. I know it's a mix. I think I feel like it's a mix at like 60. But again, yeah, if we've yeah, got like yeah, weaker yeah. players in the blinds, we like can just 60. open it dearly. This is like 60. Yeah. Do you guys raise here? Um, so the way we're gonna play here is I think like aces, kings, queens, and mostly calls. I think we would be more inclined to raise something like this. This actually has more equity than like aces against their stronger hands as well. Uh, it's easier to improve. I think like if you if you have like eight nine here, it's gonna be a very very high frequency. Sorry, seven eight. You're gonna have like a very high frequency raise. This this is kind of in a bit of a weird one. I think with a club you could raise. I, I we can go eight nine though, right? We have we do have like the backup straight draw mm. to, to go with it. It's not just like a jack seven. Thing. Yeah, this it seems like we probably want to mix this. Okay. The uh, you might cool. Besides calling. Mm. 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 You guys want to <laughs> bluff now? <laughs> uh, I don't know if we really want to have like a seven to bluff. 
seven uh, seems shit, right? It's literally yeah, like yeah. what we want to fold. Like that's like yeah. I mean, he's still gonna have a bunch of six x and even five x that he double barrel. Like I mean, should I think like queen five just like nonsense like that? You know, so maybe. Um, but how how okay? How are we finding the bluffs then? Actually, though, if like. Well, because... we can just have six x and five x. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Mm, it's yeah, kind of weird really, because a lot of a lot of our combos have now become something, right? Yeah. For so we're sure. gonna have some two pairs, we're gonna have some straights, we're gonna have some flushes. So maybe this is one of these spots where maybe we do start putting out. We just out struggle really more... hard. We don't have many high cards. We don't have like any high cards. Right? We don't have. I don't think we have like king queen of spades anymore or anything ace, like that. King, ace queen, I guess maybe. It's generally like, gonna be lot. more. Yeah. I mean, a bunch of those will even fold the turn right i mean you'll want to fold the turn with like ace king without a club here like a yeah turn. yeah like so maybe like, this is actually gonna not even this might dip into the territory of finding some like like frequency bluffs um we might yeah six decks and five x still yeah i don't know i don't mind bluffing this i guess Maybe maybe people aren't actually like double barreling seven x enough here though, um, so maybe maybe we can try and put a bit of pressure on here. I'm not quite sure. Have you got have you got a sim for this scenario? Mm -hmm. I, I can probably find something. Yeah, but you know you're live, right? When somebody asks a question in chat, you could just you know respond with your words. Yeah, but like. Have a I don't want to guard out. Let the lucky fish speak. Let the lucky fish speak. Let him. Go. I've, Let I've, him I've got something at button versus be blind at sixty. So let's have a look here. So this this lead can isn't you, really a thing share, so much. Can you share your screen? Yeah, I was gonna say I wouldn't. I wouldn't really lead uh, versus the button here. I would lead versus yeah. like other positions like hijacking <laughs> over a lot, but uh, yeah, not versus the button. I don't think. I think these leads come more like come in like more like forty bigs. But again, if we if we no looked for our opponent to overfold or under raise or like if they raise their strong hands too frequently, like aces and sets and, and whatnot, we're going to get to lead a hell of a lot more than theory would, like advocate. Um, let's let me see. Um, I'll just see if this light's doing any bluffing. Did he bet one third on the turn. Yep. He bet forty percent. Oh, forty. 10 7. So, oh shit, yeah, it is. Our 10 7s are bluffing here. They're like pure bluffs. The ones we get here. Here? In this, yeah, 10, ten 7 is, is bluffing here. Um, so, yeah, because we do have a shortage of bluffs. Again, because we've just got so many like one spade combos. We've got, oh wait, this is like a, I put the wrong river. Um, <laughs> I'm putting eight, eight spades. Can you share your screen? I can show the same. Stream. Uh, yes, let me. Thanks for the sub, Nord Ba. Uh, so we need the four spades. Okay, so now actually on this so on this particular river, the ten seven is checking. On the eight of spades, we were we were bluffing. I guess we just have just about enough showdown here, but this is like against the yeah, one third donk, one third turn bet, and so we do have like. So mostly yeah, our bluffs but... are going from 4x, huh? The 4x. So we've got some 4x down here. What about 5x? Um, I mean, we don't have a ton of 5x here, that, which gets here. But yeah, 5x is is like purely bluffing um, when we get there. Uh, so we do just have enough 5x and 6x to bluff? We don't have to bluff with 7x? It looks like it's just coming through. Yeah. We have any... So we've got like slithers of like non-suited hands as well and non-spade hands or non-club hands can we go look at the turn our spot on the turn are we just folding a size so let's see um ace 10. we don't have any ace king ace queen they all raise the flop i think ace king is actually quite a popular one for ball coverage to raise in the flop Okay, oh, so actually... wait, wait, oh, that's right. I was gonna say, I was actually gonna say, I definitely noticed this when playing DTO before that, like, ace king, ace queen, ace jack, they just straight up like to fold the flop because they just have dust. I think, 
Yeah, I'm probably over defending uh, these spots. Yeah, I mean, I was definitely over defending. <laughs> so maybe I'm over folding now because maybe I like take a little bit too much. All right, guys, in by popular demand, we have got charts on bbzpoker.com. This is something new, something we're very proud of, something we've been asked about a lot, and you can check it out on bbzpoker.com very quickly. See you later. It's one of these weird ones because, yeah, there isn't supposed to be a leading range in this sport. If we if we convert this to, like, 40 big blinds... That definitely is the gonna... theme, though. That's the theme, though. In other, like, leading spots where you end up full, just straight up folding, like, between <laughs> jack and defending, like, anything else on the flop. Sorry, the, 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 the donk the donk leads tend to come like the deeper we get i think they become more like slightly disconnected so like maybe like eight six five we get to lead or seven six four we'd get to lead a bit more i think like some like the deeper we get it's more like something like the, the five four threes five five four deuces and stuff which come into play a bit more but yeah it doesn't want to doesn't want to bluff this one uh i mean still quite tempted that's cool yeah. It does make sense. Like blocking a seven isn't ideal. If we if we convert this four to an eight though, wants the bluff again. More of the bluffs. More more of their bluffs have come in. Let's move on. If you bluff, what's your sizing? Um, so we've got a bit of an array here. There's there's all sorts of sizings going in. So the smallest bet in this sim is like sixty percent. Then we've got pot one hundred and twenty percent and shove. So the the bit like the it's kind of all over the place really. That makes sense. Like you often see see that on this type of uh, runout, just like yeah. dust everything. Let's move on. He says. You guys defend here against Min. I don't know. Not not this. Not from versus this position. I mean, it is obviously more appealing. But if we were like, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a bounty tournament, yes. Yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. Probably, yeah, yeah, probably sneaking in. Yo, Yargo, true Noid pops up. I, I already mentioned it. Oh, I didn't hear it. <laughs> Look at his cheeky smile. I love Yargo. <laughs> 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 I think I think the queen I think the queen nine is something that people would probably defend here too much. I, I would purely fold this. But mm -hmm. but what would you guys do, would you even have a, like calling range over here? If this guy opening oh. at twenty. I, I'd have a zero. Yeah, I'd have a zero percent calling range. You just want to put money in or like a raise or fold. I might have some autopilot calling range, but I like the I like not having one. I think that's very uh, logical. I think on the button, maybe uh, maybe we can justify calling some hands, but like it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem great. I think if it was like 40 effective, we're going to obviously want to call a lot more, but like this guy's yeah, opened up 20 bigs. And that stinks. It's, yeah, also we're setting a better prize for the, the players behind us. So you would like just rip in Queen Jack Sweeted over here, for example, if you don't want to call or you use it as a 3-bet bluff or like... Maybe we can 3-bet call Suzuki and 3-bet fold the Zito. Yeah, I think that's like quite reasonable. Let's go like eight, eight blinds, eight and a half blinds or whatever. Can you show an example of how, like assuming we all have 40 bigs, how this might work. So we've got cut off, high jack, low jack. So, uh, so this is an example, assuming we all have 40 big blinds. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's a bit delayed. Oh. Uh, it does feel, feel like that's why not? Cool, yeah. That it just like slings it in with those hands. It's just like similar to like a, like a small blind spot with just less going on. And there is some flatting. Mm -hmm. Mostly like well, not bears, finding combo. Bears does make sense to flat the, in this spot. It's a bit more straightforward post flop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this seems very, very reasonable. Very reasonable indeed. <sighs> Yeah, as soon as we've got this guy who's twenty bigs, it's just like it's just gonna get complicated. Yeah. Ever bet here? Uh, I think we go like fifty fifty. Um I think when we bet we bet like two thirds. I think this guy should um if this was rainbow, this is gonna be like a fairly high frequency lead, I think. Uh maybe more more so like the closer you get to the button. Um I think this combo defends very well against check check raises. Um, I'm, I'm, I think we're, in, I think we're I'm different. More of a lead. I think, I think a little bit more so. Like, also, there's okay. a huge preference for like rainbow boards. But as soon again, as soon as yeah. we know block, 
Right? No, 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 never mind. I just answered mine. But, like, I was saying how come, but it's just because the buttons range has a much wider range and no share of the nuts, I assume. Yeah, they just, like, like... EP has no share of the nuts, but a much stronger range, so we want to lead less against them. Uh, they have jack two of clubs on the button, for example, like, right. like in our position yeah, yeah, yeah. just doesn't... Uh, so, like, like, UTG just doesn't have any, like, pure filth. Um, I think if this is... A, like, if we no-lock this spot to in position to, like, raise combos too frequently that they shouldn't like aces kings queens sixes fives and stuff like that you get to just lead like if it was like a 50 50 you can just lead your range and, and you don't you get just back. Either, you just have to call versus the shit i thought you get to raise a reasonable chunk you get to raise a reasonable but chunk not, but like it's, it's in a different different fashion so like the first your first value raise should be pocket sevens um okay, because it's it's like it's got the most equity against let's say five three um or pocket fives or something like that, but also, um, also uh, it's quite more, it's a lot more vulnerable as well. So it benefits a lot more from raising. Whereas aces doesn't require so much protection, and it gets a bit messier. So like aces is going to be like close to a pure call here, I think. Sevens will be a pure raise. Like you progressively, the weaker your um, overpair is, the the more you want to raise, and like vice versa. Then like sixes and fives tend to want to like protect your calling range as well, having like some some nut. Combos in there. Mm. Do you adjust? Like I have a question. Do you adjust for uh, against some people? As you just mentioned, this guy should have uh, a lot of leads over here. But I I don't see like like most people leading. Definitely some good players are. But like in general, often what I'm thinking is like okay, this guy like especially if they snap check because if they snap check, that just shows like they either are they just don't have the leads. But if they don't have the leads, that changes like uh, their range to a check. And I'd assume we want to bet less, or like, do you guys uh, adjust to that as well? I don't. <clears throat> um, I don't know, really. Yeah, I don't even know that that's going to be the case. That the fact that he doesn't have like those hands, that that means that we want to check back more. Because, like, generally, from what I've seen with the leading ranges, like, yeah, there's, like, some density around specific things, but it's, like, an incredibly balanced range. And when shit likes to lead, like, when the spot likes to lead, it's just, like, every fucking hand likes to lead at some, like, frequency, you know? Like, not every single, but, like, a vast part of the range. So, like, I would assume it's going to be, like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know that it's going to make that big of a difference. Yeah, it I'm, seems like I'm... an assumption to, like, that, 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 that that's the case. I don't know that that will be the case. I haven't got this exact board, but I've got like something like a little bit in the territory. So I've got seven, five, four, two tone. Right? See what I mean? Like list every single hand, basically, just like donks at like a very similar frequency. Except yeah, for, like, yeah, the... but like th that'll fuck up uh, 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 Rangers range equity after check happens. And yeah, you, it'll you get can... a little bit weaker, right? Yeah, you can you can lead because you you have equity or not or both advantages on the flop. That's why why you can lead. If you now check, your range will be stronger. Mm -hmm. So that would make sense that imposition gets to bet less, probably. But I'm not hundred percent sure. I have no luck that one. Yeah, it would. <laughs> So this is extremely typical. You see this sort of answer. So I mentioned before, you start from start from the weakest overpair, um, and progressively your frequencies will decrease. Like in this particular scenario, you're not actually just calling with like sets that much sevens is like more often than not. But um, the way let's have a look at like flush draws, backdoor flush draws. So we're going to start raising with like some this backdoor equity. Uh, flush draws themselves are going to be doing a load of raising. Um, and you still want to call a lot of flush draws as well. Like this is an, shows, another flush way. Shows, flush draws, I assume, unblocking like his flush draws want to pump it up. Well, they have um, like, density in like of like flush draws in like the queen jack ten nine area. Then like eight six five. It's because of the nature of the board. Yeah. Yeah, these types of answers are like like somewhat consistent. Again, like aces just doesn't need love life like on a lot of turns here. Uh, we don't require. Like, the, the yeah, like the types of combos we're like quote unquote looking for protection against 
aren't really going to fold. So, like, do we really want to start pumping a pot up with against combos which are going to actually have a lot of equity against us? So, mm-hmm. like, when we raise, so when we go for a raise here, for example, like, we're going to get some reactions in theory. Yeah, just um, and it gets a little bit messy. Three bit. Just gets a little bit fucking messy for aces. Yeah, these these spots are quite fun though. Like again, people like everyone, most most people over like under not sorry like just play them really poorly of like facing a donk, and just yeah tend to tend to raise too much to the wrong regions and then and, and they end up happening in the wrong regions, right? Like people over defend like ace king ace queen ace queen, like like yeah, and then they just get to the turn with this really fucking weak range, um, and you can just just bet small again. And also, yeah, for sizings. Um, so, yeah, it's around 50-50 on this particular board. Preference for, like, the two-thirds regions. We do have a bit of potting, which takes place here. Mm. Again, well, so it's similar similar idea to, like, how we would just call the donk leads here. Um, you actually are going to be checking, like, these over pairs back a lot and mm. then starting from, starting from the bottom. I'm not doing potting on this, this one. Uh, whenever there is a straight draw, basically, well, straight available, I typically... Uh, simplify myself to bit uh, two thirds. Against some players, I will uh, start splitting ranges, but like in general, I just uh, go two thirds with my range, just to simplify. It, look, it looks like the pre- like the the area we're finding the bigger bets are coming. They're actually blocking the straights. But yeah, I, I would generally just bet two thirds or check here for the mm-hmm. most part. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, let's well, let's, what the fuck happened? Oh, check, check. I'd mix probably bets here, but like we kind of have a showdown value, so I don't know. I think you're going to want to raise raise a load of turn probes with this type of equity as well. Mm-hmm. It's going to be somewhat. It's going to be pretty equity driven, really. So we'll use like flush draws, straight draws. And we again, like if you think about some of the combos we want to check the flop with, we do have do have flushes, we do have sets, we do have uh, like aces, we have some ace kings and whatnot. And <sighs> this is interesting. Um, Feels like a fucking overbit to me. I think we can like we're gonna have like some some mix sizes here. Um, oh, for this sure. guy's still like what, um, one one thing here. To think about soon, is, right? We have this soon. We can look at it. I, w- I would be interested. So I would, see, I would so let's just that. check down to the river. So we just oh. go with this one here. So let's go to King of Spades. I don't think I would overbet. One thing is interesting though is like if we bet if we bet like one like half pot on the river, we're gonna have some assumptions that our opponent's supposed to probably raise like the queen of spades. A That's shit what load. I was thinking too that I would bet half pot, but then I was thinking that exactly what you just said, and I don't think that's how people are gonna play it. So yeah, that's why I'm I think gonna trend towards Yargo and go for the overbet. Yeah, because it seems a lot better. Because like people aren't oh. gonna fucking find the bluffs, and like they're definitely not gonna find the queen X either. Like it's just two spades. Nine, nine of spades. I guess it doesn't matter because the board's a bit different anyway, but um so they are gonna get to do some small sizings here. Um even with like the nuts, they're gonna have to bet small again because we still have it just doesn't yeah, they just have so much shite in their range. Um Okay, so and this hasn't allowed an all in sizing, which is gonna change things a little bit. So if we had an all in possibility here. Yeah, that will um, come in definitely. Th- that will come in. Um, I- actually, no. Uh, I think it will be gapping uh, the sizes to three x. I think it's like it's really hard to go over like two point five three x overbet even on this type of board. That's why I think like uh, <sighs> it's just going to be so hard to bet over like uh, fifteen, like twenty over twenty here, for example. It just seems super hard to do. In general, but you're betting you're you're betting more than pot in theory, anyways, huh? With the space, and you're just with a space, you're just doing all the things. Also, let's let's assume so. Let's let's put a small bet in here. Let's <laughs> let's go with half pot and see like how much queen of space is supposed to raise. Um. So like yeah, so Dan, I mean, it's not actually happening that much. They they are supposed to actually do something else by the river so here, but like the six of spades. Then then not then, the queen. Then high as well. Like deny flashes, like there's so much <laughs> betting happening. 
This, this, well, this we're, is, we're, we're value betting outside of. I would assume that we're value betting outside of flushes. I guess. I guess the assumption here is as well. Actually, that um, the nut flush doesn't fall into this sizing a crazy. Okay, no, it is in there like a good like, chunk, but like in, 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 in reality, people like as a value raise here, they're probably only raising like the ace of spades. Like maybe you get some people that raise the queen of spades. Like people aren't raising like 10, 10 deuce of spades on the river here. Like. Like, so maybe they have some like non spade bluffs, but like they're not gonna find some of the relative like like, like the relative like the relative um flush Can raises which are gonna incentivize us to to bet smaller with the ace of spades. Can we look if we value bet anything other than flushes on the river in position? Nah, uh, that seems like I, pretty optimistic. I maybe like pocket nines could do it or something. Yeah, it seems mm. difficult though. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, so pocket uh, pocket nines doesn't get there, but it does actually like to bet. Um, oh, it does. Yeah. Isn't there a way just to like, king five as well? What the, the fuck? Yeah, king, I, mean, I, think, I, I think it's super it. reasonable. It's a check down pot. Like it's super reasonable to mm. value bet like two pair plus here. Yeah, I don't... especially but king, yeah, but if king, humans king. as well. Like humans will actually pay you in this spot. Like just a naked king is value betting. Fuck yeah. Mm, like most of the time. Yeah, um, and like and like this is very reasonable too because while people don't bluff and they're never gonna two bet on on four flush boards, they a hundred percent hero call and call down. Like it's still good to like value or to to bluff a lot too. I would say in these scenarios, but like people will just flick in a call with like fourth pair here, like quite regularly. Yeah, people people do that uh, stuff, so it does make sense. And it's checked down all the way. Like he doesn't have fucking flushes. Even, like, even if um so this the uh, question or not question is a statement in the chat even if uh, it, it's like our opponent still has like nut coverage but we actually block the nuts so it's it's a little bit different in terms of like they can't have the nuts now so it's a little bit different um man four flush boards where there is not aggression like river play like what a single pair like one pair of hands get value bet all the time like it, out of position as well. Like, he, like he's donking like King Jack here. Like I would assume on the river, like for value. Uh, so what have we got here? King Jack. This is yeah, this is pretty interesting. I don't think people really have this in their locker. King Jack is just. It is far down, but. Pretty cool. I mean, if you if you if out of position. It's not that far to... down though. It's not that far down when you think about the fact that it. The, yeah. The hand's been checked down all the way to the river, right? Like... King is kind of high up. I uh, relative to how we're playing here, because that's the thing. Like our one spade combos or like our flushes, generally we're putting a lot of money in on the turn. Or on the river, you made a flush, right? Even yeah. Put in, put in a yeah, river like, with the majority of your flushes, you're not going to check. <coughs> I mean, of course you can bet check some, but you you, you can uh, click bet uh, seven on the river and look at the range explorer. Just uh, click over there and click on all. And look how many, often the guy has flush. So he has twelve percent flushes. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty like low amount, right? We got fifteen percent over here. Yeah, I mean, the, these scenarios where the, when it gets like super passive, I feel like both players just don't have many flushes, right? And mm -hmm. like, you still, you still end up putting chips in the pot because we're playing cards, playing pokes. Yeah, but if he has twelve, 12 percent of flushes and he only calls with flushes, well, it's pretty obvious he's going to fold. But he doesn't only call with flushes. Right? Yeah, exactly. So that it does make sense to bet uh, some uh, king eggs on the river. I think it really depends on the stakes you're playing as well. Like, oh yeah, definitely. I honestly don't. I don't at all. I think I really think four flushes are like a spot where people are going to hear a call regardless of the stake. I don't. I don't really think it is. You don't really play anything lower than like five hundred, though, do you? I play. I play one on nine. <laughs> I play one. Yeah, like once in a blue moon. <laughs> we should put your Barker in like ten dollar empty to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? We'll see what happens. I would not be successful. Come on, it's eleven dollar tournament. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I mean, come on! I'm the I'm the <laughs> I'm the mo I'm the biggest field player of, of us three here. Maybe John. Maybe John. No, no, John. John could be the biggest field player, but he still knows way more. Mm-hmm. Uh, pure call. Mm-hmm. Oh, <gasps> pure raise. Yeah, I just can't see not raising with this one. 
I should probably uh, go a little friendly size. Maybe smaller even? No. I think I think well, this is where we're gonna start introducing a load of like min raising min or min what? Raisins, yeah. 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 I think I think min raising is gonna be quite popular here. Like this SPR. We don't really need to go big. Hard to defend is... hard to defend is in position, right? Yeah, especially if you especially if you like C bet range. Like you're yeah, gonna exactly. have like you, we're just gonna get to go fucking nuts here. Um I think this is probably gonna mostly raise. Um and I, I don't think we call much with this combo. Then we're gonna start check raising some combos like ten nines, jack nines, six fives, like types of stuff. Could you go Five, check fours, threes? Could twos. you go check check raises with like your range if you just wanna click it? Uh if if so I'm doing the next two sessions I'm gonna be doing in group are gonna be uh, no locks for when an opponent C bets too like if they C bet hundred percent and spots where maybe they're supposed to actually see bit like 50 mm -hmm. we're gonna basically like we're gonna just kind of eradicate a lot of our calls and just start check raising the majority of our range and yes yeah, so i think we can just go for it really uh, obviously like uh sam greenwood's gonna have a better understanding of like when he should check here but i think a lot of people would just auto see bet this board i don't like this i think I should yeah this i don't think this i don't is... think you i doubt you have a shoving range here like what I was thinking is if he has an AC probably base me, but I don't know if that's true. So probably should just bet. Like even if he has an what's AC, the, what's the answer? Eight blinds. Yeah. Probably probably just somewhere yeah. like yeah, bets bets more. I think again, actually, it's worth mentioning this as well because I think this is like a very common stake where people, when they have less than less than pot, they think they either check or shove. It's it's very fucking rare yeah. that you unless like because like. The, the way we would shove here, let's say it was like a 10 high board. Like if we have King 10, we kind of want a sharp shop. Um, we have, there's a lot of vulnerability to our top pair. Our top pairs now are going to, they're, they're, they're top pair on all the rivers. We don't, like you don't really have a shoving range here. So you're going to check or bet like 10, 10 big blinds probably. Hmm. Well, m my thinking was, I don't think like it's going to work against him, but like in meat stakes or like, let's say your $55 game or something, I don't mind this. If I expect the uh, imposition to always call with like ace, but yeah, it's probably fine. But in but, the grand but, scheme of things, yeah, like. But but even in that case, it's like if he calls against this bet with the ace, like he's probably go calling with ace. If I bet small, small, so I should yeah. probably just go small because of that. It's not like there is like cards that will counterfeit us besides five and ace, but like that's kind of whatever. <sighs> Did he fold and show you Ace King? <laughs> nope. So Card Cardi asked if there should be um, a three betting range from the flop for in position, and the qu answer is yes. There's going to be some shoves. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know if that's obvious. I wouldn't have said that that was obvious. It seems like a very reasonable question to me. Fucking Yargo, calm down. <laughs> I, I think it. I think it actually is maybe slightly less frequent on this type of board, but. Um, there will be, I think the imposition will have some shoves here. Like Ace King is like first hand, I think about. Yeah, Ace King. Double, Ace King, Ace Queen, and I guess maybe. That's it though, what else? Yeah, because I guess how much 10 I, mean, I wouldn't shove yeah, very get... much on the flop. It feels pretty uncomfortable to build a shoving range here. It's it's probably something that you what don't want to do that much, but though? it's possible. <laughs> yeah, I think it's quite, <laughs> seems viable, but. Again, the, the type of range we have here as a check raise in terms of bluffs, they are, they have like decent equity. So like the, the weakest one is going to be, I mean, like it'd be like six five suited, jack nine suited, jack ten suited, ten nine suited. So I don't know if clicking against that range is necessarily like the best side. Very there. good, yeah. It no, good. it's probably a sport where you just want to try and deny that equity that makes six yeah, five. Yeah, banging it in. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Hmm. Ace ten fold on the two bet from the imposition. I don't think any ace is going to fold yeah, the two bet. Yeah, that's a good little overkill. Obviously, having a ten seems kind of shitty, but it's yeah, you're just not going to fold an ace. Uh, maybe yeah. against like some human pairs, it's possible because like people are probably lacking check raise here, which isn't like pocket sevens or something. Yeah, I, I don't like the turn shove. What were, what were you thinking, Ergo? 
disappointed your family with this show. <laughs> Nah. Just I wanted to double up or go and play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're never gonna let uh, that go. Um, <laughs> like, you already go said that. Uh, you want to fucking double up or go play basketball? <laughs> no, I, I once uh, like fuck up my ankle playing basketball. John like never lets it go now. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like the like the, the image of Yago playing basketball. I'm like, <laughs> don't we'll get we can get to that another time. You could definitely <laughs> check his Ace Queen on last in the <laughs> last time. So yeah. yeah, Ace Queen's going to be in there. Yeah, we well, generally want to bet big here. Do you do I mean, seventy five percent pot, whatever the fuck. You'd over bet this. Large. Yeah. Yes. Put chips in the middle. See what happens. This is probably like the most consistent. Answer. Oh, what do we got here? Do you play or do you fold? You're cool. And do you call? Uh, on the flop, that was. Um, I guess we have uh, straight doors, like both back door straight doors, both sides here. We, we're gonna defend this uh, against this position, against like an early position. We just fold this. Well, like one thing to mention here, like most sims I run, I know you run as well. You just want dirt, but like he he bets really small here. And like there are some people who's like opting to bet like uh 15 i don't use one third percent so yeah like barker like, that's what i'm you, doing i'm doing I, I do i do i do like 25 50 75 at the moment i don't i don't fuck with like yeah 30, I, 60 anymore. I don't know why i'm folding i don't think this is like good fold oh my it. god you folded yeah knit life what <laughs> <laughs> knit life <laughs> this is so I bad thought, i was gonna say i was gonna <laughs> Yargo's gonna raise though. Here comes the 3.8 blinds, but he just folded. You could, you could, you could raise this. I think Ace A6 is gonna want to raise here like a fair chunk. Uh, I just know Ace... that Yargo's in this like crazy ass fucking 2.8x every single flop bet mode. You know, <laughs> I, I don't know. He's, I don't know what he's doing. This is probably actually gonna get in as a check raise. To be fair, um, yeah, like, this, I think it's Ace... pretty good for 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 a small raise, right? We got the yeah, Ace, Ace, we got the seven. We have no backdoor flush drop. Yeah, I think maybe I'll have. Do I have anything like this? I think A6 is probably a pure raise here, actually. We could just be going out of control now, and now you'll look at the sim and it'll just be a pure fold. Like, it's gonna like, say, he's your bet Hondo. I need to fucking defend. <laughs> I'm a fucking neat. Let's end this. <laughs> Let's end this. What was, what was the board? King 5 he's, 3. King 5 3. Do I have that? Yes, you do. Uh, I mean, we'll go with King five four, four. and it, it's a little. Was it, was it rain? Was it it's rainbow, rainbow. Yeah. Okay, this is a bit different now because A six. It's fine. A seven is A seven. A six is going to be pretty similar, right? Check. This obviously the bet size is a bit different. It's bet very aggressively on this board for a small size, and A7? You're right, there's your boy. Yeah, this shit is coming in there. Oh, oh look at me, guys! <laughs> I found the fucking. Low frequency fold, huh? Oh, <laughs> fuck it. It is actually, like, yeah, relative to the size, like, <laughs> like mentioned the size, and though, is gonna come in there. This is the sort of shit which I think is pretty gangster. This does, like, this stuff turns up on these ace high and king high boards against the later positions. Go but, back um, to the a7 off, hover it for a sec. A7 off. <clears throat> hover it, and, and the a7 suited. There's, yeah, Yago's combo is folding half the time. But he's finding that little low clip raise. It likes to raise uh, more than the other ones. Yeah, like that's how, just because I was going to point that out to the person in chat. Like, it, you like to call with the with the flush draws because they have more equity. Whereas like the A7 of hearts here prefers raising to the other ones because it doesn't mind raise folding. But that's not necessarily as pronounced here, right? Uh Typically, you're looking for your backdoor flush draws, like for for the yeah, yeah, that's a very specific yeah. like set of hands that it likes that with, and it's like yeah. that you have like the ace kind of thing. And these types of combos are very like when you have three to a straight, and like especially when you have an overcard in a lot of cases, or like a very good blocker to the top pair, you're just going to get very very aggressive. These types of combos, like this is this type of stuff is re just relentless. You're going to see these answers, yeah, I and then you, <laughs> <laughs> you definitely <laughs> are. <laughs> Uh, Doesn't make me feel any any better. <laughs> what do you want to do here? 
No, do you guys want to get out? Get out of here. I'm like, yeah, I was. Yeah, it's a nice hand. Get the fuck out of here, man. He's crazy bad. Don't don't be trying to overcompensate because he folded that ace. Queen 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 Jack Queen Jack Sue is just gonna shove there. Yeah. Yeah. I would would probably move in with that. Hmm. Ah. Uh, this one's a bit more complicated. If this was like a bit deeper, I think we're gonna mix some check raises. We're gonna do we're gonna do like some betting, but I think it's like pretty low frequency, probably like 20 20 percent or so, maybe 25 30. I'd half pot when I bet. Yeah, I think we I don't know if we get we, we need to go bigger against this stack size. Um, we could probably start probing I here. Think you do, to be honest, I think the majority of your out of position betting in some of these positions like is at 20 blinds specifically is half pot okay um from playing a few spots i think we can um i think this is probably gonna mix maybe maybe we actually want to bet the i would check Probably Sorry, check you know? this one and bet the other variations. Like check yeah, this one with diamonds because yeah. like, it sucks when we get shoved on with this back. But you're not going like, to get shoved on when you bet half pot, right? Uh, why not? Yeah, like not going to happen. Dinex can still put it in. It's, it seems like it seems quite realistic to me. I don't think so. But the big, the bigger you bet, the more likely to get shoved on. Like, you think? Uh, I don't think so they've got. Like, they got Jack Ten suit. They're just going to bang it in. Yeah, that's like one hand. I think it's very rare that like you're getting jammed on here, but I don't know. I would just check race run it too if you. Check. I think people like waiting for a safe foot with pocket eights as well. I might just shove it in. What I lo- you're playing I lo- some fucking two dollar games, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're playing. <laughs> but I don't, I'm not playing with too many opponents that are peeling eights in the cutoff off twenty to look for a ten high board. Mate, you'd be, like be surprised. Uh, surprised. I don't know where the fuck you're playing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, is... maybe, maybe though, dude. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I, could <sighs> wrong. I, I definitely see like ten x just sling it in. I just don't expect Steve to get jammed very much. We bet half pot by in position, like out of position, sure, but and this sure. Come <laughs> on, this this is probably mixing because this guy's. Yeah. we're gonna get this guy to like be probably like a lot of density around broadways and asex as well. So I wouldn't assume there's a ton of like a shitload of fold equity. This is probably too big. I should probably go like eight B blinds or something like you that. Don't, you, yeah. you don't need to go this big against the stack depth. Um, I think you just go eight B blinds. It's kind of a weird one because it looks fucking strong. Like whatever you do here, I think. I think I'd go eight and a half. Mm. Hmm. But he just has queens anyways, so. Got him still. Got him! Excellent. To dream it here sometimes. <laughs> mm, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. right. You can treat yourself. Those types of combos come in more like button versus like cut off and hijack. Yeah. So I'm limping here. Probably just checking. Um. Yeah. You really have plus with 10x. So it's like a 5x squeeze, but let's get this. It's kind of a weird spot, really, because it's kind of it gets a bit dirty. The thing is that like, a lot of our bluffs are probably just gonna the combos which want to bluff are more inclined to just sh- bluff shove pre shot like Queen Jack suited, King Jack suited, and whatnot. It's kind of a weird one, really. Uh, I think this is gonna be an extremely high frequency check with your range. Mm-hmm. Should I like bot it over here or like over a bit it even? Uh, I don't think this this doesn't qualify. Yeah, this no. yeah. If you have like queen six, you could overbet. Okay. That's or like even I, even like queen jack, I'd I'd fuck with overbetting like jack ten or even that. But yeah. Like, this, I, don't, I don't think jack six like yeah. I don't think you'd want. It's just not going to qualify really. We're going to have overbets, but yeah, you want to. I feel like yeah, queen jack would probably be the the, like the the kind of the the bottom. Yeah. This guy's still supposed to have. I guess they don't really so they don't have any ace jack three. They don't have king jack pre. They still have like two pairs though. Like they're gonna have jack threes, jack fours, jack fives and stuff like that to some degree. So I don't think we get to go like buck wild. I think it's quite limited and I think a lot of people are gonna stab it on the flop too, so mm-hmm. <gasps> I don't think I like I probably get to bit like this, right? I don't think I can like go big here. <laughs> I I don't 
Yeah, I don't think you get to go crazy here. Uh, it's, but if I was if we if I was going to bet bigger, I'd prefer not to have a jack in my hand. Yeah, I was going to say I think this is like extra reasonable with the jack. But mm. I don't know. If you jam, you call right. Cool, cool, and not not particularly love life. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how often people are checking back. Like people still like underestimate how often you want to check back flush draws as well. Hmm. So when yeah, so there's a question in the chat. So when we overbet, we want to have an overcard to the jack. So it's I think it's going to be quite popular. It's having some added equity. So obviously you've got your your eight outs for your straights, but then be be able to beat uh, jack x by hitting queen is going to be good. Um, so I think it would probably be a preference. And also having a spade would against like against Pio Solver, the spade would be ideal because you block some of the the flush draws, which are going to call, which would have checked back in theory. Uh, check range, I think. Mm -hmm. mm. Seems so hard to fault this. Like, I didn't really have, like, I don't know. I I, th I think it's, I think without a heart, you can start, f like, if you had, like, that pocket six is probably more of a fault. Pocket fours is more of a defend. Um, mm -hmm. Again, relative to the, the like, the, the back door equity. Um, I mean, this looks quite fucking strong, but... The thing is, against like their so value components, we are we have really poor improvers as well. It's so hard to win this hand. Yeah, exactly. So, like by calling, I'm just fucking so tempted to fall on the floor. Yeah, I, I have a lot of temptation. What an absolute fucking joker, by the way. A7 suited, hijack, fucking healing, <laughs> calm revolver. Come on, man. <laughs> we bluff the small pairs. So we're gonna have so we're gonna have some floats like with like. Ace highs, king highs, a heart, like queen highs of a heart, probably. So we, we, we don't need to like dip into this territory to bluff the river, really. I think we're just going to bluff with high card flush blockers. Man, yeah, you really sense. don't ever fucking win on the river, though, do you? <laughs> but that is also... Uh, that's, that's true. That's true. How the fuck I... do you want to win? Like, the only I mean... hand is, like, ace five suited as well, and, like, we blocked the fuck out of that. Like, I guess I you can have ace three, ace twos, maybe. Right, mm. and pocket I mean, fours. if he's got, if he's got, he's got eight, seven, seven, then maybe he's got eight, yeah, pocket fours, yeah. But like all of his bluffs <laughs> that bet the flop have all gotten there on a ten jack run out. Yeah, we probably actually this probably is a good point. Actually, we probably do want to just. Like, we might. Can fucking <laughs> sucks. Yeah. <laughs> maybe just fold the flop because everything <laughs> about this fucking hand sucks. Good point. Whenever everything sucks, <laughs> that's what you want to do. Just throw it away early. Yeah, get out of there. Should we should we can we raise on the flop was a question in the chat. So I think it like if it was a heads up pot there'd be maybe a bit more of a possibility. But when it's when he's bet three way, we're gonna have to put a little no bit more credit in the hand there. In hijack spot. We wouldn't none of us would be in the hand in Yeah, yeah, spot. but like it's gonna it's gonna be situations which arise like this for a lot of people that played lower stakes where it, people are gonna call here very frequently. <sighs> Yeah, as soon as, as soon as someone bets three way, like off twenty gonna... blinds too, you can just play pretty straightforward. It's seven three dudes two tone, right? Like if you have a flush draw, fucking min race, get it in. If you have an overpair, min race, get it in. Like mix some with calling, I guess too. Yeah. But it's it's going to be relatively straightforward. You're not going to be able. You're not going to have to like turn jack kind of clubs into like a bluff and go crazy or anything like I, that. Right? Our MDF gets carved as well when we go like the more pleasant. Multi ways, across. yeah. Though we still have to take the main strain, I think, because What's of this? Yeah, our what range. Are what are you showing us here? Just this bot. I was just wondering, like, how much you want to 3-bet these smaller ones? They come in there, man. Like, we want oh, the yeah, 30-bet. Yeah, yeah. I think he's this... probably overdoing Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going wild in the big blind with Ace X and King X versus the yeah. like, positions. Just fucking Again, I think people... I don't think people really find bluffs here enough, to be honest. And I do. Pre <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> but yeah, like most people don't, like don't even have a bluffing range there, probably. I did it four times in a row on my FT from yesterday or Sunday, the third and like the fat Sunday, and I just every <laughs> the three three big blind opportunities in a row. I just three bet every one. The secret <laughs> is out. Sounds like the secret's no out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they snap mucked every time. <laughs> so you tell me who overdid it. <laughs> 
Nothing to talk Woo! about. Yet. Is it this like? Mm, nah, no. this probably too far down. I think from the cutoff, it gets hard to play anything like worse than like I don't know, King Eight, King Seven, something mm. like that. You know? Yeah, King King Five. Ooh, ooh, where are we going? So, are we betting or checking? <laughs> Oh, I, think we, I think we bet him like most of our range here. Yeah. If you were ever gonna have a check in theory, it, <laughs> what the hell? Why did you bet one point nine five? Just bet like one. Just I think you get one. Yeah, that, one. That's like, probably you're sizing. Big. I think. I think on, honestly, I think like GTO sizing at twenty blinds, twenty five blinds is like one blind and half pot. Like I don't think you you really want to bet like a third. Like I think it's not bad. But, I like, think it. Well, I think it's the not, EVs not, not of all the sims would still be bad. It's all it's all like the same, is it? Yeah. Okay. But EVs, like surely, uh, surely you though, Yargo, with like your interpretation of the way that people play, should want to bet smaller. Like when you're always harping on about check raising smaller and whatnot too, right? Like you should definitely mm -hmm. want to just be betting smaller in general. Yeah. And letting people make the errors. Like I'm just lazy. I have one dirt on my. <laughs> you have the one <laughs> yeah, and like I try to make it like one one point five, but like oh, fuck me. I think we actually we're like more inclined to bet like quarter or one third when it's like a dynamic board like this. So let's say if it was like ten ten deuced, one big blind is going to be more than adequate. Well, this mm -hmm. guy's going to have more more like equity driven like defense here. Mm -hmm. I think you can size up a little bit more. Maybe I should I, check I, the turn. I'll check the turn. Yeah, I just check. No oh, value. And just just shove it in. Well, I know that he didn't have any drips. That's for sure. You could treat yourself if you really uh, Actually, three bigger, but I'm here sometimes. I think these come in like more like at 30, 40 big blinds against like, the button. Yeah, off bluffs. Queen 9 0 and Queen 10 0 might, might uh, <laughs> treat themselves at the stack up. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if those come in at this, like. So at 60 much. versus button? This is cut off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I thought you were. Yeah, you probably. Let's let's have a look at something. I think I think Queen Ten No, like that that kind of like some some offsuit Broadway might like sneak in at like sixty versus button and cut off honestly. Oh, first is big blind. So I can if you share the screen. I've got some charts here. Generally, like in these that decks, it's a bit more orientation around most. Go and think of this. There's some offsuit Broadway. Yeah, there's a little bit going on. King Nine off. Uh, so what is this? This is 60 big blinds. Yeah, we go pretty wild in these territories. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always let's say ones, so. button opens. Yeah, we're just really going for it. Yeah, so these off suite combos are like getting Queen a bit. Queen 9 0. Queen 6 This This stuff's easier to find. Um, at, again, at 60, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just because it feels more natural, I guess, than like Queen 9. It loves this like 9, 8, 7, 6 shit, huh? It's always like in a thing i guess i think the bottom of the offsuit opening range tends to be around like the offsuit fives so like we i think we start folding out a lot of combos which dominate us and then obviously have some good board coverage mm -hmm. um just for reference anyone that is unsure as well like we've got like a 16 and a half percent three bet versus button here from the big blind it's, this is at 60 bigs um 100 big blinds you're looking at button versus big blinds so it's similar and so the, the deeper you get, the more na like you, you like the more you want to um, use suit combos uh, in general. Again, if you're going to be playing a huge pot out position, like 100 big blinds or whatever, you you want to have better coverage of the board. But um, this is so this these these oh, this type of stuff here is more exclusive against like the button range because they've got like a 55 percent of the of the deck. But there's some eight three suit going well. Yeah, none, none of that shit really makes sense. Really, you want to have combos which like eight three suited these are a very particular flop to pick up equity really like nine six suited there's like we're gonna have better opportunities and then yeah like we want to use some like combos which block four bets and can hit top pair i mean on the flop um what was the flop eight three suited uh yeah so what was it's like 60 bigs so i could have a look at a sim actually eight, rainbow this is no lock stuff um uh, uh, what have we got here? Let's have a look to see. So, cut off versus big blind at 60 bigs. See if there's something in here. 
A63. Is it? Deuce. Got, a Got A63 two tone here. We'll go A64 off a rainbow. What are you even looking up right now? It's this spot. Same. I was trying to get something. I've got A6, A64. See so some what, was the, what was like the question, or what are you curious about? Since we have Queen, eight someone, eight. someone um, was asking about like check raises. Like, yeah, yeah, eight. Someone, yeah, so eight three suited. This this shit just fucking loves it. This mm. weird sort of equity. Wait, what? It's just a backdoor flush draw. Yeah, backdoor and a sp and backdoor straight draws from the backdoor from straight draws at the wazoo. <laughs> yeah, five deuce, seven <laughs> five. Wow, the possibilities really are endless. <laughs> Relative to the the, whole, the way about the the open enders, um, these are just extremely like when we can turn up and down. These are like very very popular. It's also worth pointing out actually, like some of the stuff we're just defending by calling here as well, like ten five with a backdoor flush draw. Dude, what the fuck is this shit? Eight three seven deuce. Well, this stuff always comes up, man. And like, yeah, we can. I've never seen this before. Because you obviously haven't studied hard enough, mate. Oh, that's just a fact. I don't know, like this. I, this this is again this is more exclusive against like button and calf right you're gonna see this i think i think so anyway maybe it comes in other sports but like if we check raise a seven deuce we can see a three or five and eight got a straight draw flat back, back door flush draws like and you're against a really fucking wide range that's going to probably see bet like a hundred percent on this board <laughs> question to Dunka: how is Dunka winning <laughs> With the second pair as well, that's, that's <laughs> definitely <laughs> relevant there against these positions. Well. So, like, relative to like people are supposed to basically not fold a backdoor flush draw here, yeah, that's, not, that's pretty not, really, not really much, but like people are gonna start folding some of that shit. So, some there is some like level of attractiveness to, to such check raising these kind of scenarios. Gunner woke up, he is asking if you're going for a bit more. Mm -hmm. Told you were sleeping. <laughs> Just gonna nip to the toilet. Okay. Uh, don't be long. <laughs> why the fuck am I misclicking so much? Um. Yeah, why are you misclicking so much? Oh! Oh, this guy is so small. I don't know. That's not a. That's still not a maneuver, though, is it? Don't you still play this at twenty blinds? Uh, I don't know. Like maybe, you, maybe you do want to open more, more doors blockers, though. So I don't know. I'm gonna look up the same twenty. Let's see. So twenty button. Oh, mixes. little Colin, little Collie. Oh, it's limping actually. Little limper. And then at 30 it just plays or what? Let's look at 25. 25. It's out. Oh, it's out. It's out. And 30. It's dirty. It's in. It's in. in. Okay, okay, <sighs> okay. So, uh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know, man. You see Geo all in, and you're all scared. You're so scared of these small stacks. God, you must have been really nervous this time. <laughs> eight, seven, right playing the button with five more suited, holding king five suited in the high deck. What the fuck was in your coffee, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> you were drinking Spraggy Soylent or some shit, or what? <laughs> what the fuck? But, like, do you guys, like, because, I guess I folded it because Geo is all in, but, like, I mean, in. I'm still playing. Yeah, it kind of feels, but like to win it, I still need to win against him. But like, you I still need to like. But you win. Yeah, but you win point seven of a blind if you take it down still. Yeah. Good point. A range is gonna probably it's gonna contract a little bit, but like King Five Suit seems a bit fucking. King Five Suit seems a bit. A bit, <laughs> a bit, a bit over the top. To <laughs> Wait, and looks like Geo Crack was literally sitting out, so you're fucking really under under the <laughs> under the cosh here, bud. <laughs> Sure you're really in, you're really in trouble <laughs> now. Sure Gio is sitting out now. Now you deserve <laughs> lashings, buddy. Now, you, now you're getting the fucking lashings for holding that. Oh my god. <laughs> Pretty sure he wasn't. But okay. What do you mean? He folded. He's obviously sat out. He folded. Oops. 
<laughs> yeah, he can't fold if he's all in, right? You know that, Parker? He's all in, he cannot fold. It looks like he's fucking folded. <laughs> you can fold if you're all in. Where is cards? Don't go tilt. Love it. <clears throat> yeah, actually, you're right. It sounds like he might have fallen over and. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Uh, um, that out. I'm just gonna, just gonna fold. Uh, what do you do here in general? Uh, so, like, what? Which hands do you continue, and like, what do you forbid? I don't think we have a crazy amount of calls here um, at sixty bigs. Like, we have, we still have the button to account for that has a back shoving range. Um, and also that like, we don't really want to go three-way sandwiched. Um, I think we're more inclined to, to shove here, so we're going to be... I could get up a chart here to show, like, an example. Yeah, I was thinking... Okay, you can do it. Just gonna... uh, so what have we got here? Button cut off, hijack, low jack. Uh, 60 bigs. There might be a bit more corny here, um, but I don't think there's a crazy amount, so just low jack here under the gun. Two... Is three bit, uh, and what was it? The button called and a small blind squeezed. Button yeah, we just squeeze. Yeah. yeah, so this is just, yeah, we're just shoving. Are you gonna see more of a this is 60 big blinds, yeah, I believe, if I've fucked this up. Oh, there, oh, there is no uh, non-all-in allowed, that's why probably. It only says all-in or fault, right? Oh, right. So, uh... I think it just, it, just gets, it just gets messy, though, as well, if, you, if you're calling here. So we still have, still have a range behind us to think about. It's pretty fucking hard to call things here and win, yeah. Yeah. That's for damn sure. I think generally speaking, when you're going to be... Wanna, what do you want to start calling with? Like, what's the bottom of what the shit that you're envisioning calling with? Like, you can't eat, like, all the suited Broadway shit? No, I was like, just thinking, like, like, maybe you want to, like, go non-all-in for bet. No, no, it doesn't... It doesn't, it doesn't really happen, I don't think, so much. You'd have to just make it, like, 20, 20 blinds? Just sling in a 30 of your stack? Uh, this is the thing, there's already 17 big blinds in there. Your bluffs just go all in. Yeah. Since mm. your bluffs are yeah. like high equity driven shit anyways. King Queen suited. That makes sense. Ace Jack suited, Ace Five suited. Vroom vroom! What we got here? Yeah. Got him. Shoving. I mean, I wouldn't auto shove against like the population because some people just won't have no, any fucking No, yeah, 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 yeah. If you see a man that you know is a tighter player, then obviously don't shove. But I would it's assume cool, right? shove the... I think, yeah, it's a, I think it's a pure shove if, if like someone's actually opening an adequate range. All right, guys, welcome to BBZ Poker. I am BBZ, and we have got two bundles on the bbzpoker.com website. We have got the Ape Styles bundle, and we've got mine. Now, our bundles are designed to deliver incredible value and be accessible to anyone who wants to learn and improve at poker. What we thought was that a lot of the really high-level content was expensive or requires an ongoing commitment. These two bundles are very accessible at the $99 price point, contain a lot of content and can definitely help anyone, whether they're just getting started or if they're a very sophisticated player to improve. And we definitely appreciate you guys taking the time to check those out. Thank you very much. Let's see, 1500 guns, small blind. Just gonna call oh, like some of these pairs hey, and some hey, of these hey, hey, aces. King 10 suited pure jams, but don't even fucking think about raising with King Jack. <laughs> oh, Parker. We, benefit, we, ben we benefit more. Actually, it's kind of weird, actually, because I, I would have assumed that we benefit more from um, having Oh, King it's the King ginger Jack. sleeping beauty. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 <laughs> What's up, Connor? What, what are you wearing? <laughs> Shorts. Nice. Uh, do you have a top on? or? Yeah. That's cool. So what are you looking at? My 1k. Get one of Yago's 1k's. Can you guys post this lucky fish guy's Twitter? I don't have a Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you know what Twitter is, though? I know what Twitter is, mate. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah, I, I, did, I did have I did have a, an account once. I think I tweeted once, and this isn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> you tweeted this. This isn't for me, and deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny uh, guy. Uh, yep. Fold. Oh, look who it is! Oh, in the Connor in the table. Any half potters? I think you actually get to do two thirds here um, quite frequently. Really? Why? Yeah. Why would you do two thirds? Just half pot? I don't understand. But you ready? I mean, it's, you're it's, ready it's, it's pretty it's much the same. same. <laughs> but what? It, no, it's, it's not though. Like two thirds uh, at like sub twenty. Is it you're not going to check here. Or? There's no, there's no way you ever check on this board, like Connor. I'm not, I'm not talking about checking. I just want to have it. Not, not. No, uh, Guntis is asking about checks. This is like we have, we have a fucking like monumental range advantage on this board. Yeah. You don't, you don't check at, at if you raise preflop and the big blind calls you. You don't check a side boards. Period. It, like it doesn't, it doesn't really happen because like the big blind is supposed to rejam with so much of their asex that like you just end up having such an obscene range advantage that you end up half potting. Yeah. And and betting like one blind with basically your whole range. Well, that's how yes. I've like looked at the spot. I, I've seen these spots where you, you bet two thirds because of the range advantage. Like the, the, the only like suited uh, sorry aces that Connor's supposed to really have is like ace two suited through like ace eight suited. But then a lot of people just shove all of that shit as well. So you mm -hmm. can really just fuck with people. I think right. like, I, I I think people default to betting small here, but I think two thirds is quite. It might actually be like just bet two thirds. Do we have a sim about this? Have <laughs> one. I don't know. I don't know if I've really run many spots like this. Um, yeah, I have twenty, but I'm not sure. I have... Twenty's fine. It's like seventeen effective, anyways. Twenty, twenty's, twenty's gonna do the job. But also, if like if you have sims without half pot and you have like one third and two thirds, uh, you're gonna have a lot less big betting, of course, than if you were to run with like half pot. Oh, Where's my ace king board? I gotta find it. Ace king four. I have ace king five without flash draw. Rainbow. I don't know. Give it, give it like a glimpse. See what that says, and then this fifteen, twenty. This twenty. It's downloading. So, out of position no. range. I wonder you need that new computer. <laughs> so... <sighs> a little bit small betting. Yeah, nice, man. I would bet small a bunch as well. Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, I, I, I didn't say only bet big. I think I think our King X especially is like... But it's apparently Look at the King X, though. So it's all just betting big. Powerful. It's all I mean, betting big, mixing. It's all like, it's just like, it's it just, you have such a fucked up range advantage. It just yeah, doesn't I mean, matter no, no, what I, you do. I, I'm aware of that, but it's just like, it just seems strange. I think it's a human, like a hum, uh, human perspective. It's like very easy to bet one third. I think that's probably what most people do. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, it's a big chunk of the For sure. strategy to go two thirds. <laughs> Queens. I think I like, I guess Connor, I went for like triple barrel small. Knowing myself that he didn't want to pay me. Yeah, because you have such a range of <laughs> <laughs> So it, it didn't matter how much you bet. Exactly. Uh, I should go six here or six point five. I think. Pot, it's... by the way, it just bets pot like eight percent of the time or whatever. Just basically all in. Yeah, that's. Oh, it's true. probably worth mentioning as well. Actually, you probably actually just treble off king nine. Pretty fucking. Uh, pretty high oh, to it. Oh yeah. We're gonna check it. Well, you can't bet this big in treble. Yeah, ah. if we're just going. To... Can you? Nah, it's it's like you it bet, starts to. You bet two, like, you bet lines, two thirds. Eight right? lines is literally all in on the turn. Like you can't, you can't triple off. Yeah, yeah. This is a bit bigger bet on the flop, though. I mean, if we're going one third, one third, shove or whatever. Yeah. Just gonna shove like king queen is probably out of the range. Like, <laughs> I think king queen two is actually supposed to be like purely in there. Yeah. You just put money in. It does. Maybe mix. not. Okay, so king ten. So king tens. King nine slows it down a little. Yeah, but this is twenty as well. I think in, at fifteen, it's like it's still a different different spot. I didn't really expect Connor to have too many uh, aces at all. 
over here you still have uh, out of position still have all, all the, the suite of days six basically so you're saying and you like, don't think connor's good enough to have this nah i just think he's gonna jam that <laughs> at 15. <laughs> it is like you'd be right i'd be trying to get on my next bullet <laughs> <laughs> But it is actually really likes to still call this. Yeah, I, I, I would. I probably would call some of those. Probably. I would have been calling Ace Five suited him down before, to be honest. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought that Ace Six, Ace Seven, Ace Eight, Ace Nine gets called like that. I would have just. I would. I was just calling like Ace Five and like Ace Seven before. Ten, so yeah. Like generally, you protect. You call with suited and then shove off suit more so. Yeah, yeah. Ace Five. I thought it was a little bit less, to be honest. And you could just shove his hand pre as well, by the way. Like the guys behind you, like I know it's like 33. Like if it's a 30, if you run a 30 big blind spot, it's just gonna probably mostly shove Ace King off here. The three bit. Off was like pure jamming in that cutoff and uh, and hijack when they put money in. Yeah, I can it's, still, it's, a, it's kind of a weird one, really, because it's like because of the stacks behind. I'll just I'll just elect to shove here. I just think I. I don't give a fuck. I, I'd probably leave more towards just free bet on all in, but yeah, I just think this is like a problem too too big of a size. I, should go I, I would I would I would do the same thing John said, like with the stacks behind specifically, like with a 19 and a 15 behind, I would try and put more towards jamming, and then just if it was all like 30 and 40, make it a little bit juicier. Seems reasonable. Don't mind three betting sometimes. Sure. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> you can play in tight, Connor. You can play in tight. Really? Dude! That was, that was uh, I was tight to you, Spot. On mid Sunday, peak <laughs> three, three spots, I think, so far where he's made a questionable call. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> you, could, you could actually probably check Raise the Flop here for King 5. But this, is a, this is a scenario, I think, where if you have. <laughs> Your weakest, your weakest, sorry, your strongest ace is going to be a pure check raise. So let's say um, our strongest ace is probably going to be like most of your, most of your ace. Check ace eight suited. It's going to be our strongest eight here, uh, ace here. That's going to be a pure check raise. A seven is going to be very heavy check raise. A six is going to do some check raising. You're going to check raise. All of your a six is going to check raise down. To, like the worst one's going to be like thirty mm percent -hmm. or some shit like that, and the top one. Yeah. And then like things combos like maybe like five four suited, six five suited, or like basically combos with a, a pair and a backdoor straight draw are gonna have especially like the vulnerable pairs like five X, they're gonna be getting involved to some degree. So I, I think this would be a non zero check raise. Okay. Do you think like uh what about like uh like which five X do you want to check raise in these spots? Like I was just thinking like I I don't think I want to block King X. Basically, I'm gonna get value from the King X. I don't think you want to check raise this one. I don't. I don't think you want to check raise this one. I don't think. I think this might maybe this is actually comes more into play against like an earlier position. Um, I've seen some of this stuff where it comes up, but like five four, for example, will be. I'm confident five four will be pretty active as a check raise here. Also, he is betting one, so I'm gonna defend shitloads against this bet size. I don't think you're going to get to fold like, it's, 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 much 5x here, Matt, against the button. It's reasonably tough to over defend here. Like, I mean, ace high board. Is, you know. It's tough to start calling with like queen nine or some shit, if that's what you're saying. <laughs> so this is probably a limp in theory, but people don't isolate enough. So probably like as, as soon as we no look. Fives is a limp. Yeah, I thought this one was still like. Uh, I think I think fives is a limp. I thought it, I thought the cutoff was like sixes. It might it, it could be? Jam, I, I've, 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 I think, over here. I think fives is a limp though. This is no, crazy. sorry, my mistake. But like, there's like limping sixes against a weak opponent isn't a very good idea because they just Good like part of the EV is coming from like them them bluffing pre flop and then you get more money. In. Yeah, god damn, tough to find those, isn't it? I don't. Like what is what is the actual strategy for big blind versus fifteen blinds here? Against Probably race? about against raise 40, or limp. Against limp, about 40 percent ISO. 
literally, it literally is. You're gonna be going fucking. Maybe nice. like four percent. Fuck. It just looks like every ISO fucking. Yes. Every ISO chart, you just go fucking ham. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll do shit yeah. to like two and, and a half. It just, it just becomes like, more a lot more polarized. Like the like as progressively we we move down the stat depths, the more like seven deuce offs and stuff like that, like nine nine three offs and shit are gonna be involved. Damn. So it still wants to induce all the Broadway offsuit. Yeah, and raise fold that king eight. You're gonna get a lot. Of, you're gonna get a lot of people that basically don't have any of that shit under yeah, King Ten. Like all the pink stuff under King Ten is probably gonna get checked back by most people. Not most people, but like weaker opponents. So, you really want to limp pocket sixes against a raise which doesn't raise that stuff? No. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Do you go non all in here as well, right? Oh, uh, so well, no, with, no, with, no, with off suit. Ace King suit is. I probably, yes. I probably don't go all in with that. Uh, I probably don't 30? go non all in with this one. What about at 30? I would go not all in at 30, I think. Maybe not Mixes at 25. At 25. But... This is at 25? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm missing some of these of Ace King. Like all the the suit ones generally, I've I think more commonly you you want to just get in the off suit stuff because it just has a more difficult time post flop. Yeah, but Ace King specifically is like I think the big problem over here is if you always jam Ace King off and now you're you're really aggressive with your bluffs, you it's super easy without the off suit hand in your re betting range, so you could be like easily over bluffing even though like somebody else needs to start for the jamming white against that but like and people don't do it so i don't know i don't, I don't really have like a non-all in range against 25 bigs well you should <laughs> i haven't i haven't really like i haven't got 25 big blind charts so i haven't really like studied that area it's in daily seminar charts now i just added them today yeah. all right what the fuck is this 4-4 bluff phrase um so it's just some weird solver shit comes into play. You see some weird combos showing up. These like low pocket pairs. Probably wouldn't advise doing it. There's you know how to play perfectly like PO solver post flop, which no nobody does. Yeah, in in general, charts are just guidelines. Like it's, you're not yeah. supposed to be blindly following. Like oh, it mixes ten percent now. Like you're gonna roll the dice every time to like get there like it's like mine like minor adjustments you still need to think yourself what you're doing so matt has said against the, the biggest c-bet sizing we are actually folding like the king five against 50 60 percent i guess it gets a bit more complicated i wouldn't have thought we'd do that much folding i think it's more, a bit more exclusive to the like the the texture of the board if it was like an ace nine five board i think i don't think you get to fold but when the broadways are there I think it's a bit different. Mm. Wait. This is... What are you thinking about it? Seems hard. Like, I, I'd call it the uh, backdoor flash draw, backdoor straight draw. Yeah, but you don't have a backdoor flash draw. <laughs> That's why I folded. That's why I folded. <laughs> you hesitated, though. <laughs> you, or do, do you want to defend here? No fucking way. Like King Ten of di sorry, like the King of Diamonds, Ten of Hearts. He's gonna uh, do King of Diamond. I'd probably never try, but it seems a bit too weak. It, the way we like check raising the spot with like pure filth is like King Five with the King of Diamonds, King Four the King of Diamonds type type regions, mm -hmm. King Seven of the King of Diamonds. I think there's a preference having like a heart as your kicker as well. You don't really want to block Ten X because that's where his uh, falls coming because like that's the bottom of his range, right? So then, then in general, kind of sucks. Yeah, you don't. You wouldn't want to call with a ten of diamonds either. Matt's pointing that out as well. It's like your like backdoor flush draw isn't isn't that sexy. Well said. <laughs> so two dirts, one one dirt. So I think it maps too much a bit here. Just don't check. Nobody wants to pay me the value. I deserve. He 
you probably want to check that term quite a lot to be honest if you're that like type like particular holding yeah. and it's not really like a, you don't really have an issue getting the money in on the river that is true though yeah but uh okay let's go back like the big problem in, i guess over here is like if i check what am I going to get value by jumping to river? Let's say the river is uh, six. I think you more like you more like to get hero called. If someone's got queen nine of spades now, they're more like to fold now than they would on the river when it's like the seven of hearts after check check. Might People be. are going to be a bit, a bit stickier when there's no more action to take place. It sounds pretty illogical, right? But... <laughs> 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 I mean, that could, be, that could definitely be true. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. <sighs> but I could get behind, yeah. Why not? Check? I would probably just play like this. Same way. I'm gonna have, like, it depends how, how often you think you give up the turn. Like, if you think you're going to give up a lot, then you want to check that, probably. To be honest, I can see myself well, no, like, giving queen, up too, too much there. Like... Why do you give up on ace, king, queen? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um... He's a tight player. Well, there is the, the big, big plot. Uh, I know. Pretty open this. People still overfold these spots massively. Like, he shouldn't fold anything. 2.5xing when you open, or? Uh, Maybe even 3x? Yeah, I could fuck with that. I mean, you could do. 2.5. I mean, you have a huge preference. Like, I know it's, I don't know, it's like a general consensus that at like, you know, like 9 to 12 blinds, you're supposed to. Uh, give them a bad price because they're supposed to call even more so than they're normally supposed to. So giving them two and a half x or two point six, two point seven, something like that. So this is fifteen B blinds. Don't open these. No. But it also assumes that you have fifteen blinds, right? So it also assumes that people are going to defend one hundred percent of their range. Yeah, true. Not Just really. Not but all these, defend yeah, but the, the charts, the charts you've got there of fifteen, like fifteen equal. This doesn't assume that that guy has got forty big blinds. Which is yeah, gonna so, change yeah, it. That, that counts for lots of shoving on the button too. Like looking at like the big blind range there is like kind of irrelevant, right? Because yeah, that, yeah, yeah. The button, there's no shoving going on here, so that is true. There's three X accomplish makes three gems that much nicer. Yeah, it does make it a bit more obviously a lot more attractive. For the... Well, not really because it's it's three big blinds to ten big blinds, right? The illusion of fold equity is not there. You do not have fold equity. It's not like someone's treating themselves like regems with like king two suited or something. Like I don't know. It's hard to. It's a pretty interesting spot because I see a lot of the high stakes rates high stakes like Timothy yeah. and Uxoda, people like that. They're doing this strategy and they've been doing it for quite a while. They've been doing it like in live games for like years for years yeah and, um, and now it's just made the way online. i've always been a bit confused as to like how they're constructing this range because like how they're doing this I, I i barely ever see their like top range when they're doing this so like what are they including their top range in the 3x strategy or do they just do it with dog shit honestly maybe <laughs> just do it with dog shit sounds like a, an insane strat but like they all like a bunch of them do it so yeah, I mean, you can keep saying and believing whatever you want, dear big guy, but I mean, you guys think you're better than all the high stakes rigs. That's that's that, you know? That's just that. <laughs> Do you guys exactly. think uh, bidding here is yeah, I don't know better is exactly. or just check raise? Yeah, I wouldn't play. Uh, I, don't think, I, don't, I, think, I don't think you're going to do like a huge amount of betting versus this position. Like, progressively, as you get close to the UTG as well as they do, like, their range just doesn't have. When you bet here, what do they fold, sort of thing? I don't think your range gets to bet. Like, that much. Like the stronger their range gets, like they're just not going to have folds to a like, C bet. So it's just mm -hmm. generally. Yeah, I'm in, the, I'm in the, the default to check camp here. Oh, yeah, I would just auto check this. And I would just raise a lot too. We're going to get pretty f freaky on the flop. Yeah. <gasps> That's fine. I don't want to fuck. Come on! Thing. Who cares about those small stacks? <laughs> oh fuck! What are you up to, mate? Yeah, well, this guy's so fucking tight, dude. It's insane. <laughs> fuck off. Forty. 
You, is it even open at 40? Cut off Hydrate Loja MP? I don't know. At 40? Yeah, no, I think, I think at, 30, at 30, it's 100% an open, I would say. I think it's, I think it's a mix there. Oh. At 40, maybe. it's not. Ah! <laughs> Get out of here. What about 30? What about 30? Okay, at 30, <laughs> like, it might be. It, it might come in. Puck? Okay, it's coming. I can love H9 off for some reason. Every time I, I say fucking hell, I've got H9 off, he's like, yes! <laughs> I love I love Ace Nine off. Ace Nine off and Ace Five such a bad hand. Ace Nine off and Ace Five off. The great hands. <laughs> no one ever sees it coming. Uh, so there's a question in the chat. I'm folding there as well. What do you do if the eleven eight blind stack jams? We just fold. Yeah, if if we fold, open, fold. yeah, yeah. It's just like you should have a have a look at um, Equilab if you want to like try and like get a better idea yeah, of these types of spots. You guys going here? Just, I don't know. I'd call, I'd call against Urasov. I'd call Urasov, yeah, I'd fold to like someone with a 15 ABI, I guess. What's wrong with 15 ABI? Uh, there's nothing wrong Probably with Probably scared just, to show general, a bit wider uh, in a $1,000 yeah. tournament. It's not a, not a robot. Not, not, not a fucking Yargo. <laughs> not, not, I, I learned what poker was a year ago and look at me, I'm elite, you know? It's not, <laughs> it's not that kind of scenario here. <laughs> I, I don't think I'd like call this dude sorry as free though against him. Yeah, but... I don't really think like. Oh, and look at that! And look at that, Connor! Look at Ace 3 and Ace Deuce. ABI is average buy in. Oh, it's Ace. Yes! How wide will, do you expect people to jam there? I don't fucking oh, definitely know. shoving King 8 and Queen 8, I would say. <sighs> You're a solid no, really. yeah. Be expecting much like. <laughs> All Broadway's all in raids for me blinds. Huh? Well, he's got nine, but 13, you mean? Has he got 13? He's nine, he has nine. Nine, yeah. Uh, do we, are we expecting people to like raise aces? No. Like, as a min raise is nine? No. Some people, but uh, only, only a very select few. <sighs> so, you can catch me call. limping it. There we go. You can catch me limping aces off nine blinds there. Aye, obviously. Fucking lunatic. <laughs> Nothing like a nice limp with pocket rockets. <laughs> I just, I just pump this. These combos like raising a lot. What? And again, if, if the four six. Oh yeah, yeah. Just the oh, down to unblock on the ace king. Again, down. if we no lock opponent to under isolate pre flop, uh, you're just gonna start fucking going flat out with these. Let's check it. Check it. Uh, 50. Oh, I think it's. Um. Speak blind ISO at 50. Is all this stuff new then? Yeah. Nice. So. Which is. Be... Wait, then it's a slip. So he, it's a 4x ISO? At 50? Ah, uh, probably like the race size a lot. Slightly weak. Oh yeah, it looks quite large. But it is 4x from in position as well, so... But like what? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's really... Why do you want to go so big though? Out of, like here, like the range is just so polar, right? Like don't you just want to raise like 3x? 3.2x or something? Mate, it makes sense to go big out of position. You just want to kind of shut the pot down, take but it down now. You don't need to do it to shut the pot down, right? Because like, the range see... is calling or it's holding. Like it's like 7 deuce off or it's like jack 10 suited. Like it's it's not... There's no like 8, 6 suited. Not there, really. Right? Like he's still going really What do you mean linear. not really? Like this is his ISO range, so it's really yeah, yeah, right, right, right. So when you limp three bet, what are the hands that he has a difficult situation with that tacking on those extra three blinds like makes a difference to? Like his ISO range is, is like linear and it's garbage, right? Like all of the stuff that he raises with the suited stuff he wants to call with, and all the offsuit stuff he just wants to fold. I didn't realize you're talking about limp raising. Oh, that's what I thought you guys were ta talking about. I was, I was talking about. So, um... That was what you were looking at just then, right? That range, no. <laughs> am, I, am I completely lost? I don't, I, I don't know, I'm lost for sure. What was the last range that you were looking at? This like one? The, like the strategy against Diplon <laughs> ISO for it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. What, yeah. and then we were talking about free band or? Yeah. Is that not what we were just discussing? <laughs> so, 
this one, right? No, this is small blind. <laughs> Whatever. This is so confusing. First time looking at this one though. Why is it there, like oh it oh it doesn't show you your five like four bit five bit stashes, that's why. <sighs> so just to fold here or you guys want to ISO here? Or like a raise or do something? I, 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 just, I just raise people with this. Uh huh. Like raise first in? Yes. Just because people aren't hitting their, their pre flop raises. Okay, it was like a heavy, it was a heavy um, raise anyway, but was, yeah, as soon as someone misses all the shit pre flop, you just start raising a lot is more. Is it risk. a heavy raise? Like six flops super? Like the low down one? Yeah, like I'm not doing that. Me neither. Look at, the, look at your charts. I'm talking uh, I'm talking about the flop. Oh, not yeah, the fucking John's flop. talking about pre flop. We've, we've gotten very confused on this hand. Yeah. All of us have let's, gotten... let's, let's go to the next hand, honey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's move on. <laughs> next hand. We've got six fucking four on ace, king, queen. Get to the next hand. <laughs> You're folding ace, yeah, you're folding fucking ace nine pre flop, and then you're thinking I'm talking about check raising six four <laughs> hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys check here or just bet range? I think there should be some checking though. You can big bet here too. I think, I think you just bet like yeah, yeah, extreme aggressively in this, this position. You start checking more again, like when you're like close to the button and the cutoff. I think, yeah, you get to bet two thirds in some of these spots, but it's like. It's, it's really quite... low frequency. If it comes yeah, to it's. Default to one third seems like a good idea, or that's just small. Seems like a reasonable spot to, to, to check behind. Um, yeah, I do, I'm not against that. Hmm. How would we want to check back a flush? Like, how would we? How would you? you want to check how, turn back or I think it. Back? I'd rather no, flop back once. I think we want to do check backs on the turn. Um, I'm trying to think how we want to structure a, a check back rate for a flush. And I think this is a sport you probably. And this SBR just betting one third is going to be more beneficial here. Like how would you? Okay, are you checking back flushes here? And if so, how would you develop that range? I'm just trying to figure if you want to check check back like ace high flushes or not. Or like I don't know. Like... I don't, I don't, I mean, it probably doesn't matter which flushes it is because it's against the big blind. So like having ace king of spades against like cut off is you don't want to have the ace and the king because it's going to limit yeah, their yeah, flush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, yeah. Against this guy who has eight two of spades, it doesn't really. I don't think it really matters really. Well, actually. you. Well, you don't want to probably continue with Ace King of Spades because, like, you want him to have that two spades, like especially I guess with like Ace King. Yeah, that's true. So I don't know. Yeah, then no, that's yeah, that is actually relevant still. In terms of unblocking, yeah, yeah, that's that is true. I mean, in terms of actually unblocking flushes, it doesn't matter as much, but unblocking flush draws is relevant. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like to open here? Mm -mm. A bit of lag. Oh, uh, a little bit lag. I'd go with Jack Nine. I think you can start doing this at like thirty big. Sometimes some of these Jack Eights come in, but maybe like slightly. Maybe a position to the left, but Jack Nine's like an auto open. Maybe Queen that Queen A. Let's check it. Oh, I forgot. Oh, Jack Eight before Queen Eight. Yeah, there we go. At thirty. You go one. Yeah, if you move to the left, we're gonna like. Oh, look at this frequency. <laughs> <laughs> That's still not interested. Someone asked if how much are these charts available for they just they just come if you what if you join the seminars right oh oh actually we did launch them so the charts are available uh on the website for everybody you will just get the gpv charts like like this so available charts oh fuck i give a sec i need to like 
I obviously haven't bought them. Learn more, huh? Oh, the Bermondsey bomber is in the house. What is up, Jay? <clears throat> how, how much are the charts for? Oh, great. Uh, it's uh, $12 for a month, and yearly is one thirty, I believe. We will probably uh, we will get the solutions also out. So if you want to like use the solutions, those will come uh, in a bit, and you will get lifetime access. But I, I don't know how, uh, exactly about those. Nice. It's fucking cheap. Let me see. Do I get? Do I have access now? Cool stuff. <coughs> yes. Okay. Guess not. <laughs> To just launch it while I was streaming. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, I I probably did something wrong. But basically, the charts will contain this one: 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, then and blinders blind. Are these the cheapest charts on the market, or what? Yep. <laughs> they seem pretty fucking cheap. You should probably market it like that, Yargo. Nobody is selling charts for these prices, guys. This is yeah. <laughs> uh, BBC sign up code Tonka P with four A's. You'll get no discount. And I won't get anything either, but there you go. So. I'm not sure anyone's aware of some of this actually. So you haven't yeah, what the yeah, fuck? It... says, Why didn't you post this in BBC? Yeah, you should probably get the word out. Yeah, <laughs> the shit's just lounge like. Did all this stuff while we were doing this. King Queen, yeah, yeah, like, let's get it yeah. against Ace King again and have three outs. Let's do it. Yeah, Can this is hit? awesome, Can right? Great oh, spot. wow. Wow, what a loose goose. Whoa, my goodness. Pop the <laughs> I kind of think people do this too often. Like, they're just like. Really, eh? Oh, I feel like you don't see this very often. I don't know. I kind of I feel like it's a very specific kind of player that does this kind of thing. I don't. Know. But that being said, I've seen fucking a bunch of regs rip fifteen to twenty blinds in early position, like respected regs with like sevens through nines, and well, like this is 15. fucking fifteen. Yeah, like MB. Like Amadi ripped nineteen bigs UTG one with Jack Nine student the other day. Let's see. Nope. 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 I mean, nope. there's no jamming. Yeah, you don't even jam from God out. Position the 20 blinds. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah on button, yeah. Button, right? Yeah. He just wanted a fresh stack. He just man. wanted a fresh stack. I know. I, I. It actually probably was that. It was relatively late into 2.6k, and he probably wanted a fresh stack. <laughs> you got any exciting hands lined up in this hand history? <laughs> No, you're just gonna keep on fucking folding. I just call. Good bad. I'm curious about the turn here. Seems like something. I think, I, I, do, think, I, think you just, I think you just want to overbet. Yeah, yeah, maybe makes sense. You just want to. You, you're just gonna be betting Jack X plus for value, I think, or like Ace plus maybe like Ace Eight and King Eight. Um, so when you have a range like that, you're just gonna want to bet big, and then your plus are gonna come into that category. So if any. Any gut short, flush draw, up and down are gonna have some some mixes to big bets here. Gonna be somewhere between pot and one point five X pot. Oh, the viewer is so shitty. I still go for it, obviously. This is this I think this is probably superior. I mean maybe as an expert you could do some of this shit, but yeah, this, this, guy's just, this guy's just got pocket jacks, hasn't he? <laughs> just the ace juice. <laughs> I I think you really want to bet like having a queen, the queen of spades in your hand, especially. Even gonna like the, the flush rules you're more like to bluff are gonna be like shitty flush rules which have Big less interaction. Big yeah, bet. They have so less... now you're trying to rep the king eight. This is kind of <laughs> Kind of wonky. Yeah, pretty wonky to say the least. 
But I can see myself doing it. That a boy. Because sometimes you bet big on the turn and then you're in an awkward situation on the river where you don't really have a hand you want to bluff, but you want to bluff and people overfold, so you bet small. Been there, done five, that. Five, Rick. <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. What? <coughs> this, uh, you don't think this is the maneuver or what? I like it. This is, this is pure, pure maneuver. Pure maneuver? Okay, okay. Fold? Oh. What is up with the 2.5x? Yeah, yeah. Somebody asked earlier, and uh, I'm, I'm also curious. You're just mixing it up? Hashtag mixing it up? Pluribus styles? or? <laughs> so, <laughs> the basic idea is if the uh, table plays deeper, especially on a big blind, I actually use 2.5x. So that's why I'm using... Even, like, okay. I, like, that's why people don't understand what, what I'm doing. But like, like in general, like why I'm changing the size, but it's often has no, I mean, to do with the big, big like, blind. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if the peak blind is like I'm 50 plus, I typically go with uh, 2.5x. If peak blind had like 25, I would go 2.2x. And uh, how come you 2.2 off of the smaller stack size too? I know I always ask this to you guys, but is it just mindlessness or is there a reason for it? No, I don't think like in general like he's resizing. Like 2.2ing off of like 16 blinds. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Like it can't matter. Well, like how how do you like make it matter too much? Like, I don't know, it's over an extra percent of your stack that you're risking? Nah, I don't think it matters too much. It might matter for your uh, strategy, but, like, slightly. Did you just check that down to the river? I don't think you're going to check that much. I don't think you're going to check that I was that wondering, big. like, what kind of frequency the flop would be. I think you're like yeah, UTG well. against the big blind. You well, know, yeah, is this, like is this flop right? any checks? Yeah, I would, no, I would, no. I wouldn't check this. I don't think I want Maybe. to, like, my rate, like, think about my value range. Like, I'm not gonna have that many value hands here, and I don't think, like, I need to bluff all the... I can't agree with that. Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I, I just don't... Why are you... Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, We're talking you've about got... the flop here. We're talking about the flop here, Yargo. We're talking about the float. Oh, flop? Like, why didn't you bet the flop? Yeah. Yeah. It seems like a pure bet. Really? It's, range. it's Jackie yeah. Deuce, UTG versus Big Blind. That's 60 bigs. Like, what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Matt, but like, I don't mind pretty having clo pretty I close don't... though. No, I mean maybe I'm playing it. Maybe I'm playing playing very poorly. I don't mind having a checking range here. Seems like a nice hand to have in your checking range at least. But I'm not sure. But I, I still probably wouldn't check it that much. Look it up. I'm ready to learn if it's like a sixty percent bet spot or something, and we're like checking like thirty or forty percent. That would be that would be good to know. Check eight so deuce. Fucking up a lot. I just don't really see how this this like how this checks really when you're UTG. I do have a fucking rainbow. If you're ever gonna have a check, it's gonna be like pocket sixes and sevens and stuff like that. But it seems maybe seems I'm just, up. maybe I'm just like over checking this spot. Could it happen? I don't know. Just disconnected board EP versus big blind just seems like we bet. It's very difficult to check. It's thirteen percent check. There you go. Somebody checked it. <laughs> oh, how are the, is these some trainer as reliable as like PSO though? Because I've seen like some quite a few different answers coming out. Isn't Ape a big GTO trainer fan? I think so. I mean, defaulting to betting range is going to probably be good if you think about the lack of check raises that people are going to okay, find. Okay, yeah, eighty-five yeah. percent bet. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank goodness. Yeah, okay, that's what we thought. Yeah, I, I probably thought I'm going to have a little checking range. Obviously, I was wrong. This, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's going to be. Maybe it's like ever so slightly different because of the two tone. But okay, how how would you um how would you I raise was... the how would you raise the river as a bluff, Yago? Over here? Yeah, ace nine of hearts. I assume this will make a mix in. Do you have a general heuristic of how you develop that type of range? Like what sort of combos do you want to block and unblock? I Obviously, if you have like, clubs here, you have some fucking bluffs. So, 
I kind of make these decisions a little bit like based on what I think the player is up to. Some players will just be like really like some players will be betting really strong here, I believe, and some will be really weak. So I'm like more attacking those who's uh, really strong, uh, weak. Especially if you use this size, like uh, I kind of feel like he's probably having a middle-ish uh, club. So it's frustrating because I feel like the natural race size and like a decent race size is just like nine blinds or like nine like three x. But like I don't think he, he's, people are just gonna be like ooh and call with like the ten of clubs a lot, like you're saying. I think mm. you know. I would say like a six, a deuce if I have those in checking range. Those would make sense to block full houses. <laughs> You think so? I think I think you you would want to like raise like a hand like this way more and just like a six and ace deuce is just too strong. You just call those down if you manage to check. Yeah, that, that's them. that's true. Probably. Same shit as before, dude. He's gonna be value yeah. betting all of his eight x and like king jack here on the river in in theory at least. So I mean, not for half pot, probably for like a third, but he's gonna be value betting king jack. Mm -hmm. How about <clears throat> this? Just calling always. There's definitely a time and a place you want to block a six as a river bluff there, but I think it's when there's been a bit more activity in the hand. Blocking river two pairs or river river sets or whatever, or river straights is generally the way you want to find bluffing ranges in a lot of spots. Is folding the flop out of the question? Uh, I think we just good. shove it pre. Just shove this pre, right? Yeah, I was asking about pre too. 35? I don't mind it. I think against the car. It's, like it. it's more like 40. It's like 38 and a half. You can just check 40. Maybe, maybe a mix. I think, I think we just shove it in. No just damage. mix. What? Just mix three bets. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. At 30, there will be lots yeah, of yeah, yeah. Hey, man, why, why haven't you got shoves available here? He did. He did. They just, they just did. weren't coming in. All right. What have I got here? I've got. Yeah, at 30, it's gems. Sixes and fives got to induce though. I've got some shoves here. Not a crazy map, but yeah, it depends like the inputs and the sims in general. Yeah. It just yeah. But yeah, like seven, seven pre for forty. I mean, in the charts I've got Matt, I've got eights as a pure shove. Sevens is like a pure three bet here. It feels weird three bet in my pocket sevens. I tried to induce sevens from the big blind versus the cutoff at thirty. Connor laughed at me. <laughs> Do you guys ever want to fold yeah. over here? <laughs> True. Do you ever want to what? Leave? Wait, no. wait. What, just like uh, fold flop, you mean? Oh, oh yeah, it's kind of. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I want a fold flop, kind of. I don't think you call the flop here without a heart. Yeah, I want a fold flop. I want a fold flop, yeah. I don't know. It seems <laughs> pretty, hard to win. pretty tough to improve, right? I don't know. I mean, yeah. yeah. And even when you do even when you. Yeah. Even when um, you improve, you actually want to improve as well. There's going to be some reverse surprises. Fifty percent of our fifty percent yeah. of our nut turns are like pretty atrocious. <laughs> yeah. This this doesn't. Seem oh, good. that he spit on you on the river. <laughs> this is going to probably be like a check shove or something. Yeah, he told you he had queens, man. But he also told you he's probably going to call. Is that the same? Good. Is that the same Odawi that's in the chat? Is there an Odawi in the chat? It might be. I was just thinking there's an Odawi in the chat. How dare you bet a quarter I on the do river? Call, yeah. There he is. How dare you bet a quarter on the river? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it sometimes, I guess. I don't know. I knew he had 7-7, seven, seven, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fold, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're fine now. Against UTG or six three off, man. Like, like, I, mean, like, I don't defending, mind. You're yeah, you're defending five deuce off. You're defending five deuce off here, like pretty happily. So I think. So I don't I, know. I, I, I'm not sure about that. Five Versus deuce. a min raise, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, like I just. He's under the gun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're watching the same for the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> In DTO's DTO's charts, the five deuce off is always playing the big blend versus like the smaller, smaller raise size, like two point one x. And so, like, if it's so, surely you know, if it's playing five deuce, it should be playing for six three, right? Not really, because, because of aces. Oh, because wow. of the ace x, like on a side boards, you can make the wheel. So, right. like, five deuce gets prioritized over like six three and uh, <laughs> like. Who gives a fuck? Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you mean? Who gives a fuck? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, like going into like five deuce against six three. It's like, what the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? This is like right up your alley. You're like the nerd of nerds. Like, this is like you. You should be like, yeah, five deuce is a lot better. Ooh, you know, like, come on, man. Fucking own your brand, dude. Yeah, I don't, like, I lately just started to stop to give fuck too much about that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, skip past that Jack Nine suited? You just didn't want to play it, or? Somebody raised or? Oh, I okay. hope. Thank yeah, I'll get probably just folded, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I thought he might have just folded. I was a bit raised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this might actually be a bubble or something. I mean, it seems like a pretty good fold against Eisenhower, anyways. Why? Is it tight? He is. Yeah, in my he's quite tight. He is he's very tight. 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 Really Although he has been a bit looser recently, I think. Maybe a bit of winner's tilt. Winning, winning infinite money will do that to you, I guess. But I think he probably <laughs> has like a 7% 3 bet here or something. Mm. So, it seems cool. so, yeah, I feel a bit about Fallen. But yeah, we might be like really close to Bubble or something. I remember I had a few spots on the bubble, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is usually around the land level. Don't mind check raising if it's like we are far from the wobble, but like. Oh. It's going to be like a fairly heavy check raise, like sub 30, especially on like a dry board like this. You're going to get like mm -hmm. pre check mm -hmm. raise heavy. Like you, all your king X is going to have some considerations, apart from maybe like king deuce, king four are going to like oh, be jumping for joy. I would need you check these check calls. And he has a better hand. Wow. This is a spot actually on the turn. I think like the the bet your best like king x which don't check raise the flop are gonna like have some consider like decent considerations to check raise uh, the turn as well. We're gonna have some combos like. Surely, you know, like, when you say check raise, you mean go all in. What? Let me see the SPL. He bet he bet six blinds, and he has twenty three back. I mean, I, I guess you can. I, I think, think there's still gonna be some, some, like some weird min raising shit going on, but you're gonna have some oh, combos why? which why? like. Do just that, it just comes, it just gets spat out of a silver. But like, you're also gonna have some combos like I don't know, ten nine of clubs, Jack nine of clubs here. We're gonna do some raising. Do you so understand you it though? Like, why do you would you want to min raise here? Because I don't understand it. It's probably it's okay. So it's probably it's probably not really on let's say maybe on this particular board, but on some boards where you have some like straight draws, which some don't like have junk, that. some like actual high card stuff that like you want to put more chips in, but you can't call it. You can't, you can't shove, you can't call, and you can't shove because it doesn't have enough equity. But you can do like some the like the jack six on seven five three, like you said before, like that one made sense. Yeah, just some like good. weird, like some weak straight draw. Um, you can produce some fold equity, but when you if you shove and you get called, you're like up shit creek without a paddle. Like you, yeah. But it's not. It's not. I guess it's not really that relevant for this particular scenario. I'm just wondering if it's like a bubble or not. If it's bubble, yeah. I don't think we can like do much there. <laughs> Should it go smaller with, with king, um... set of kings? Like don't think set pot so much. I think the set, like the way you would yeah, pot, set is gonna like cost like, small. Yeah, with the ace yeah. that dominates, right? It's gonna be like ace king ace queen. That, yeah, that, that, exactly. maybe, maybe pocket sixes can can bet pot, but like kings is it's unlikely to bet more than two thirds. It's gonna yeah. like the small. It's yeah, I think you... a quarter mostly. I would I would assume. I mean the third, whatever you whatever you bet. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Good hand. We want to get some action. Bet small with your good hands, bet big with your weak ones. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Poker 101. No. No, no, no. Just afraid to be in it. <laughs> He's glossing over the 6 <laughs> again. Ooh. I literally like last week. Started to call John on it. Now I'm like the it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is really fucking weird. Should I be <laughs> calling here? Like, I don't think so. I don't really see like what you're what you're benefiting from. Like, I know you. I mean, it's just like cold call and a free bet, right? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but like three ways. Like, you have to win like three ways with fives now without having any incentive. Like, you can't take down the pot, obviously. You can't bluff. 
Yeah. So I'm out. I'm out. I'm out as well. Congrats to these guys. Aces and aces. Wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I just got to get aces. Whoa. Not looking Whoa. good for eyes when I was. Oh, big S. Let's go. Don't mind checking here either. Probably still better range. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely one more bet. Diamond. One more bet. Oh, could you bet here again on the turn? Yeah, I think it's definitely a strong consideration. I would, I would bet like eight, eight, eight or just nine. Just wait for that. I think. Yeah, I'd be pretty tempted as well. And then just check river, but. Maybe I think against this guy we can probably one. go go with. But yeah, I think I, I think against this guy I might be more inclined to just check. Just because yeah, because Simon's gonna have how many random bluffs he's gonna bluff with. He's pretty, yeah, he's pretty wild. He, he might actually have like problem. queen five of diamonds here that he like floats the flop with as well. You know, like it's it's not unreasonable for him to have that kind of holding. So uh, I think against him specifically, I probably like to But against a lot of people, I'd like to bet. We're not, they're not gonna like just start check down the end, right? Mm -hmm. with, no, with no real draws out there or anything. Like, it's just... So the question in the chat. Uh, so it's, it's one of uh, Yago's 1K and histories. And how do you guys review a tournament without considering the players we, we're facing, like HUD, etc.? I mean, we come across these same guys all the all the time, like. In the in the I don't know the lower stakes you're really playing much bigger fields, so you're gonna like bump into people less frequently, but you're generally just gonna an understanding of how people play because you just come across them like every day. Surely we mark this, right? Cut off is like ace five for O plus, I think. Yeah, I think it's ace five. I'm out. And it is Connor speaking as well. I actually did check like at Oh, You're in. Don't you dare raise this after what you've been folding. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, you raise this. Like, uh, at Dirty, I think I was making money with this uh, shit yeah. aces. Like, Eight sets opens. I can believe that. I'm just so good. What can I say? There's a time and a place you can open this up on some yeah. tables. Like, and, and then you fold Ace 9 suited under the gun, you know? It's, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! What the hell? Damn, oh, is that like all seven six suited? Yeah, pull well, that. Yeah. Sure, this is definitely call. a call. Come on. Six blinds, I would call. Six blinds, dude. Yeah, this is like a turbo turbo call. BBZ would fucking be giving you lashings yes. and this, I think. I, I mean, maybe I'll be wrong, and it's just like I mean, it might be really there. close to the bubble. I'm Fuck pretty sure it's a very trivial call. I don't know. It's about forty percent. Maybe it is close to the bubble. I don't know. Yeah, like that's the thing. I don't, I, I don't know. Know. Yeah, true, 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 true. Even it still, looks I think like you probably just call, call, right? You probably still just call though. Like even if it's close to the bubble, like I mean, maybe not. Fuck no. I, don't think, so. I think the bubble. Like, no. I mean, when he's showing six blinds, his range comes down drastically. Like, yeah, let's right. let's check it then. I'm curious. I'm curious. It's like I like, mean, I believe you guys for sure. It's gonna get cut out. But like, how tight? I mean, I think we'd be close to the bubble since the start of this this, this hand history with some of the folds that have been coming out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, John. <laughs> nope, still there. Yeah, yeah it gets dirty. It's still there. Well, I don't okay. think I don't still think Rakes will like. Six suit is too good of go, a hand. Go do I mean, if, it, if they're not shoving thirty on the button for, with six blinds, if it's the nut bubble, so. Yeah, we'll take a whack of this out then. Make it like real tight. But I mean, it, it probably doesn't really matter how tight it is if it's just. Yeah, possible. I don't think so. It's just like six seven just wants to take it and go. Maybe mm. it'll be like. Well, might even, might even go up. Yeah, it'll no, no, no. Nah, it'll go down. There you go. They, you, there we go. got it out. That that actually is kind of a reasonable range too. So like maybe it, it is just like a great. Level also, we go. will have slight risk premium. It's going to be really small, but still might be like two, three percent. So it would yeah. be like he, it's uh, he's effectively jamming like eight or nine or ten big blinds, even though we covered by this much. Uh. I kind of want to three bet here. Mm -hmm. I, 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 do... I don't mind. I don't, I'll do both. Hashtag mix. Three mix. This is a mix, yeah. Please bluff. Please oh. bluff. What a fucking need. Why do I check you? Oh my, my god. god. Yeah, I I know. I'm, I'm unsubbing right now. <laughs> yeah, I, need I think to... if you have like, the, the king of uh, the spade and a club in your hand, you're going to be betting this turn as a bluff quite frequently. 
Yeah, like bluff the dirt, bluff the river. To, That's really seems pretty reasonable matter. to start bluffing already on the turn, right? Yeah. Just cause fuck him, he checked back nine eight four. Like I think especially blocking the back door first draw it seems more appropriate. Yeah. I think it's probably it's gonna be that big of a preference for like the King of Clubs though. Mm. Wait, why am I so nit? Uh, JJ's asked if, if you're recording this Jago. Yes it is. Hopefully we don't fuck up this time. <laughs> If this is a bubble, I should be opening here, probably. Yes, I would agree with that. But I don't know. I assume it's bubble. Might have just burst too, right? Yeah. <gasps> Very optimistic against the big ass. Got him. Maybe I should just rip against him. Like he's like opening. I would. Up. I would jam before. I would, I would, never, against... I would. I would never do this against Simon. I wouldn't dream of it, but uh, but yeah, I don't, I wouldn't fault you at all for ripping. Yeah. Also, Simon's so aggro. Yeah, yeah. I'm like even thinking like, like maybe I can, <laughs> maybe I should even fucking call him because like he's come on, you have a seven off, so you'd stop it. Yeah, then he's like jamming like six six four off or something. <laughs> it's not, no, it's not that wild. I don't know, man. I don't know. Simon's pretty wild. That's true. Oh my god, look at him go. I feel like he's I, pretty, he, he heard us pretty the passive. Um, he's <laughs> kind of passive. <laughs> he's being very passive. Just wreck so love, hard. Love up. Yeah, I should probably just flat here, though. Against him. Sure. No, I'm just gonna go for it and get wrecked. Oh my god, he's really kicking your he, ass. Yeah, he just owns me. Oh, that is good. Wow. Oh, Great A stuff. Why don't I just dream it here? I would just call it, can't you? The 40 blinds? Yeah. Just fucking the fear <laughs> of Simon. Yeah, the fear of, the fear of Simon. Dude. <laughs> it absolutely got you. That's beautiful. Wow, it's so wrecked. All right, guys, the absolutely ridiculous already must have Ape Styles $99 bundle has just gotten better. More content has been uploaded and it's even better than before. So make sure to go to bbzpoker.com and check it out now. Oh my goodness. No, oh, he's just, he's all, he's all oh, oh my God, the wheels are off. See, the wheels have totally <laughs> come off. That, uh, he's he's falling apart at the scene. <laughs> I love that one seems kind of close. Yeah, uh, I actually think it's probably just a fucking bubble still or really close to it really big blind 10k like i find that hard to believe yeah i don't fucking <coughs> i don't know. what tournament is this 1k 1k it's some 1k 1k, 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 1K stars oh no, i can't even look it it's up it's blow, it's blow blow out series or yeah, something oh it's blow out okay are they gone okay maybe then maybe not then they're not done yeah i'm not sure maybe it <sighs> started would you get third place yeah be right back. I mean, is that does does he like hold his mic up to his face when he's fucking Johnny? Talking? Yeah, he like fucking did a mic drop as he was leaving. <laughs> <laughs> like this must oh, be. Oh, 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 oh. Are we gonna fold? It, yeah, like this, this must uh, be. Oh, like, it's gotta be the fold, I guess. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. Drupal, yeah, these, wait, these wait, spots wait, are always pretty interesting. Did Drupal Luker just bust? Yeah, I guess. Did he? Go back. It's in the money because Drupal Luker cashed. So he busted. Yeah, you're in the money. So no more. You're in the money here. So that's King Seven. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. It's uh, like lap three guys to go or whatever. No, no, I'm telling you, you're in the money. Drupal Luker cashed this tournament and he busted last hand, so you're in. Oh, the money right oh, now. okay. So I'm telling that, you, yeah. Yeah, so that that one should have been called. Or well I would overcall this too, but I don't really know. Yeah, it feels yeah. kind of mad, but like at the same time, I guess. People still sling it's it. It's just free and like or... it's got it's it's gonna be it's a dead pot, so like it's gonna be and checked it's... down. 
we probably have like a, the most dominated hand too. Actually, make it might be better to call like nine. It, it will be better to call like nine eight two. Probably, I think right? I still call anyway. I would too. It's just a dead part, right? Like the mm -hmm. odds are so, so good. You just do it so well. People are gonna like, like Simon's not gonna bet very often. Right, right, right. I'm gonna see if I can actually hit something. So, well, I mean, maybe I don't know. I don't. I don't want to speak to Simon. But... Let's hope I'm not on it anymore. <gasps> I think I can call here. No. <laughs> oh. Ooh, wouldn't do this. It's pretty easy all in for me. Jamming 25 here? 23 against a very wide. Uh, I, would, I, would, I would shove here. Yeah, I wouldn't really. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a corny wrench here. Me neither. Yeah, too too far away from the button. Hijack, dude, you want to have a calling range of 23 blinds in the hijack? Like, there we go. There this is go. what? What is this? It's this is this is 25? Slow check. 25. Look. This seems so wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like especially with like, how much jamming is supposed to go on. Pretty in the strong range. You. If you look at dirty, like... I mean, all of these fucking charts are just like, completely different. They all contradict each other. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> okay, look at okay, but twenty there'll be none, right? Uh, 20, That's a good dude. question. No one knows how many people are left in the tournament. I guess maybe Parker knows if. Uh, yeah, twenty kind of wants it. Yeah. If we know what group are looking busted. Yeah, there's like, it's like just in the money. Drupal, there was like a 40. How many players? I can tell you. Did I close the lobby? That's why they're so cheap. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you can just make any charts you want and sell them. <laughs> Who knows? But it's obviously going to be lucky with the gem as well, so. Yeah, I'd, be, I'd definitely be in the jamming camp against Simon. So 63 people cashed and Drupa Luker busted 61st, and that was like three hands ago. So there's like roughly 60 players remaining. Do you guys want to call here? I'm not, I guess I'm not against it. God. <laughs> yes. I mean, he's going to dump in on the river, so. He does give up, though. He does give up. Yeah, he, he, always give, he, gives up. he gives up, I guess, but like. I mean, your range seems fucking This texture, yeah, this like, texture like... strikes me as one that he's not going to get. <laughs> he can easily like... hit, yeah. Yeah, he, he can have... Also, I mean, strips. I think it's pretty... I think I think you should definitely shove here, because, like, Simon will be opening, like, 30%. Like, yeah, I'd, like, I, I, I don't mind ch chiming against him. He's very aggro. I feel like your your range is so weak here now, though. Like, yeah, you're going to check back some aces, but then, like, all the other pocket pairs, you probably start betting, like, pretty frequently. So at this stage, you probably need to defend this because you. Yeah, you, I'd probably call. I'd probably call. I don't. I don't. I don't. Call. You get to call this. I'd, I'd, sh I'd struggle to call against most people, but I'd, I'd feel I'd feel compelled to call against mm. Simon. I, I need to just call some of these guys here. That's for sure. So. It's gonna be absolutely pounded otherwise. Yeah, you really will. Holy shit! You're gonna get fucked. You'll just be folding everything you have. Yeah. You'll just be oh, folding really? range on the turn if we don't call. Some well, if I <laughs> if I have something like this, I'm still gonna have pairs. Yeah, but not really. You're but yeah, it's just gonna pair with that. Six and nines on like a six high board is what you've got. How fucking much are you checking back those bad boys? You even calling that shit pre as well? Yeah, I'm not calling uh, a lot of that. This probably, but like. I don't think I'm gonna call this either, so Ace 10 Suite is kinda on the bottom, so I can call Ace Queen. I have Ace Queen off as well. So it makes sense I can like still have some calls with Ace X. It's not like I need to call all Ace X, right? I'm gonna put really flat Ace Queen, queen off three. Like, do you really flat that? I, I fucking doubt it. Yeah, what the hell? Ace Queen off? You know, these charts are a bit. It's a bit silly. I don't know. 25 blinds, honestly, I think is the strangest. <laughs> I the top is most awkward, the most uncomfortable. There is something with the the simple brief love. Like I did read about people saying like this chart, uh, the solutions from uh, in simple brief love are a little bit different than like monk monker solver would be, and like they're in general a little bit more on either side. It seemed like uh, true with the cash and some MTT stuff. 
point two of a blind down the drain. Look at it. <coughs> it's just gone. Thrown away into the into the pits of despair there. Why, Barker? Why? <laughs> oh, why didn't you call? Shot says gem. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys go on on all in here sometimes, like squeeze? Ah, uh, it just looks fucking nutted. Uh, especially with the stack, especially with the stacks behind you. What are you gonna do? Make it seven big blinds? To and be then... honest, yeah, I, I think the most upsetting part about it is the fact that Simon is the caller. Like, I think that's the biggest problem with you, like three betting. I think that's what makes you look the strongest. But I think that's also what makes it like a mandatory three bet. Hmm. Instead of all, oh, like, uh, I don't really give a fuck like what it looks like. What, what, what does it even matter? Like what it looks like. It only matters what it looks like to pads and giraffe, right? Yeah, they, I think they can just start folding pocket queens here. Like if you if you start fucking around, it. like what are you? What, no shot they will. And like two, even if they will, then like I don't know. If if they start doing that, then you just do whatever you want. But like I don't, I don't think they will. I don't know. I don't know. I'd probably just jam in game two. But like you really, you really, like you you really, you really actually finding them these bluffs though, especially when. No, but that's so also I'm... what I'm saying. I'm saying oh. it's not necessary to like have a bluff, maybe here. When like Simon is peeling like so much junk, but like maybe he's just gonna call off with a lot of junk, but like he's really gonna peel a lot of junk here that he's mm -hmm. then gonna put five more blinds in with. And I'm talking like seven five suited kind of junk, you know, not like yeah, not like, like... Not, like ace nine suited kind of stuff. I'm like he's 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 got like a lot of like random hands that he can be playing here. <clears throat> and I also like don't think you're gonna find like pads and giraffe folding queens very much even if you do that it just seems it seems very difficult to try and like have a bluff yeah, in range. like a really fucking but, difficult that's what I'm saying. Don't have a bluff in range. yeah do you guys want to bet on the turn here um, I, was just I, think, guessing. I think you want to double check this extremely high frequency okay i guess bet's just more on the river especially against someone like pads who's going to have a delayed check race Against weaker against weaker players, mm -hmm. um, I'd be more inclined to, to bet. I'm tempted to go big. I think like you're you're not like capped really at all. I think Giraffe, Giraffe should still have some like better hands here. He still have like some, some maybe like pocket jacks. Actually, I, I guess I guess in position doesn't really check back. Pocket jacks. Yeah, no, I guess yeah, I, 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 I guess people don't really check those com uh, those combos. You can have tens. But we have a ten. And yeah, but I think it's, it's possible that they still have some like some stronger 10x here, but at the same time, their ranges like are quite weak. I don't think you get to really go like by a huge sizing here or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just thinking like six blinds instead of this. Yeah, I think it's reasonable. But yeah, they. I think everybody's relatively uncapped there, right? Like everybody can just be. Damn, is this the play? With 20, I, th I think yeah. it, it should be fine. Probably comes down to what he opens as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Good job. High check. Ah. I, think, I don't know. I can call it. Up it call just it be like up. ace jack or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And over here it opens 26, so I guess it's reasonable. Then you, like, it's cut off, it's in, so 31. Don't know how the guy was playing, so. But you got him. Got him. Yeah. Run good. I'm yeah. just going to mute for 10 minutes. I've got some food. It's just. I actually think we, should, we can gall it over here. I need to do some other yeah. stuff as well. Maybe play some chess later, Barker. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, GG's, boys. All right. Peace, yeah. guys. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Cheers, everyone.